Oh boy. Oh no. It's the stream time again. Oh my god. It's time to stream. I'm so excited. Yes. I also got a Almond Joy, um, like, stuck, like, you know the coconut bits? I got an Almond Joy stuck in between my teeth. Drinking, drinking the tomato juice. Slip, slip, slip. Okay, that's not gonna fix it. <laughs> it's not real. I don't actually have tomato juice. <laughs> I wish I did. I don't have it. If I did, maybe it would clear it up. Maybe. Got an almond joy stuck. Stuck in between my teeth. Send water. Maybe toothpick. A stream now. <laughs> That's my message on Twitter. Oh, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's dumb. It'll work. Okay. We're gonna get this show on the road. But first, I must set up the announcements. There's a party. There's something. <laughs> Time to party or something. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, so last time, yesterday, on the Bloodline, we were playing around as a druid. Tonight, we'll be playing around as a druid. I'm playing around as a um, blood magic user. Part necromancy, part blood magic. Blood magic and necromancy are insanely powerful in this game. They are insanely powerful. I have, like, two spells in particular that really shine. The uh, tombstone that you can find in the world destroys everything. You just cast it, everything's dead. Uh, and it generates souls, so it's really, really good. Um, but then there's also the, um, like, you hit an enemy and you cause them to explode. And it not only basically kills that enemy, but it will kill everything around it. I still got... <laughs> Got more almond joy. <laughs> what the hell? I've actually got some more almond joys here and a Snickers. Yes, that was the sound of me throwing it against the plate. I'm so sorry. Okay, but we're playing as a druid <laughs> tonight. Maybe I'll show you a little bit of my other character. Maybe, but uh, doing the druid. I think I should do some quests to get some like easy, crazy experience. I mean, you still got a quest for me. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, the baker. <laughs> well, it's not like I could do anything about that at the moment. Okay. Do not fear. Oh god. Oh my god. I wonder if that goblin mold is still there. Yes. It's like the only place in the game you can collect goblin mold, maybe? I don't know. They talk about it, and I haven't really seen any goblin mold anywhere else. Okay, can I? Thank you. Yep. Here they come. What? Oh. Taking some hits, aren't you? They love goblin mold. Oh yeah, I did discover uh, somebody on the forums was talking about where you can get the animal traps, and apparently it's one of the Fletchers that I passed up. Not the one we went to, but one of the ones we passed up. So, I gotta go to that town. I think it was Kenmore? Is it Kenmore or Kenmore? Because I keep saying Kenmore, but then I realize there's an entire, like, 
business called Kenmore. And they make, like, you know, washing machines and dryers and shit. <laughs> like, I'm very wrong in saying Kenmore. I'm gonna keep calling it Kenmore. I think it's funny. Oh, I was climbing. We gotta get our climbing skill up. We don't have many opportunities to do that. I've become so reliant on flying... But when we actually need to climb, we're not going to have the ability to climb. See, I need to I need to build this. I think this is the first thing I need to build. Oh, that's right, we can't, because it says wood bundle. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Anything that says wood bundle, we're not allowed to make. That is right. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I wish I could have met your father. Okay, I don't know what he wants us to do. I know he wants us to do something. But I don't remember. Mm. Yeah, copper. Hmm. Still work. Oh no, we had copper ingots. But now we don't. Oh no, we have. I might as well, you know. There we go. Smithing level two. Ooh, cool. Stuff I don't even know about. Hmm. Wants a copper short sword. Aha. Okay. I did see somebody do this. Oh, um, W. <laughs> Let's do it again. Oh, insufficient resources. <laughs> we need to find logs. Okay, so basically it's WASD. You've got to, like, press it at the right mm -hmm. time, but I wasn't prepared. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and that's it. I think we did all of his quests. Which is A-OK. -okay. Um... Balanced Arming Sword. We don't care about that. Bronze Dagger. Arrows. You know, we don't actually have a bow. Bone Club. Interesting. The Shovel. The Hunting Dagger. Bandit's Daggers. Copper short sword. This is the stave we bought. Um, I think for the moment we'll hang on to those. The knightly claymores. Maces. Silver shillings. Lots of goblin necklaces. I don't know why I'm bothering to sell, considering we have, like, so much money. Probably because I just don't want this stuff in my inventory. That's probably really it. Okay. There we go. Healing potions. Can you steal from this guy? No, but you can steal from other businesses. That's interesting. Okay. Let's go. Okay, we need to get some... Well, first of all, what's going on? Anything I want to do? The Bandit Horde. I mean, that'd be good for experience. I don't really care about the Lost Spirit events so much. Or the fishing stuff. Okay. Um, so, we want to go and do some stuff. Mainly getting those pine logs back that we wasted. See some pine trees over here. Gonna have another almond joy. Almond joy, go! Um, 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 um. Mm. Okay, 
tasty. this last tree here and then we're going to zoom over to Kenmore and try to get the trap. We would still need ham to trap the slime. So I don't know where we get ham. across the bridge? <laughs> Can I actually go across the bridge? Are you going to let me do that? Maybe? No! <laughs> so we don't get stuck on the bridge. That'd be embarrassing. <clears throat> I think maybe as this game gets developed the developer should have a thing where in the random areas that aren't part of the normal world you can camp and like you know it's a small little area with things to do Possibly. There's a lot of empty space on this map. Okay. Let's go to town. Oh, wait. I think this is the wrong town. Yeah, it's the wrong one. Oh, no. Hello. It wasn't Kenmore. It was, um... Another place. Shoot. What's the name of that other town? Elder Glen? It is Kenmore. So I actually pay attention to the name for once. It is actually Kenmore. <laughs> it is truly, truly Kenmore. Okay, we're going to Elder Glen. tree. I'm gonna have to go to the wolf woods or whatever it's called to get like a shit ton of um, pine because there's quite a few pine trees there. The blessing tree. The poppy fields. There it is, Elder Glen. Here I am, Elder Glen. Alright, I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission. Oh yeah, apparently beggars can give you a disease. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but people were saying yet. Yeah. <laughs> don't talk to the beggars. If they cough, they can actually kill your character. <laughs> I don't know if this is true or if it's a meme. But it's a little alarming. <laughs> Alright. What do you have in stock? You deer bait. Oh, yes. I was saying, can I get a deer? <gasps> I think any animal uses that. And an actual longbow. Wow. Hmm. 
Peasants. Peasants. Okay. Let's uh, make our character look more like she normally looks in our Marwind. Oh, that's so cool. In our Marwind gameplay. Now if I can get some, like, bear claw shoulders or something. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what you have in stock. And, yeah, we don't need the crown of leaves anymore. We have no use for that. Okay. I should retreat back to my quarters. My hair's kind of sticking out the back, but it's fine. There's also like a barkeep person here. What do you have on the menu? Ham? Do you have ham? Oh Potato my. bread. Apple Look pie. At at this too. That's mini trout. That's not ham. I'll take some. Someone uh, should have these beggars kicked out of the city. Cheese. Take food. Food's always good. It's kind of cool. We can go between different buildings. What kind of quest do you have? We do need a few deer pelts. Okay. Well, first deer I'm grabbing. Because I want to, you know, see if I can get a mount that's a deer. It's kind of cool. Horses available at the stables. The stables. Save the game. I don't remember Let's why go. I came over here. <laughs> I don't know why you came over here either. <laughs> no one can answer your question, random villager number one. No one can save you. Okay, so we're going to want to go to the woods. Uh, they're over here, I think. There they are. For two reasons. We need pine, and we need to see if we can get a deer. And then we can hunt some deer with spells. Maybe. <laughs> Remains to be seen. We're also going to try looking for that necklace again at some point. A uh, helpful viewer did tell me that there was a actual skeleton in the fort that's wearing the necklace, but I didn't think about that at the time, so I didn't know. Now I do. For now, let's just grab something. What the hell was that? There's something running over there. I don't know what it was. Now let's get some pine wood. Let's see what we can see. There is a deer over there. Okay, so we're gonna put the trap down in the deer bait. I hope that's close enough. It's probably not close enough. There's a bunny between us and this. It's definitely not close enough. Can I pick it all back up? No. Trying to attack, it's not letting me attack. There we go. Okay. So the deer was on its way over there. There it is. It doesn't know we're here. It's not letting us use the deer bait. <laughs> Damn it. 
damn it. <laughs> What's the point of the deer bait if it's not gonna work? <laughs> okay, well, scratch that. That that won't happen. Um, hmm. Unless it's, like, literally, like, you can't use a small animal trap on the deer. You need a larger animal trap, which would make more sense. But with what the game has for me, it seems like a small animal trap's the only way. I'm not gonna hunt them. Hello! That's a wolf. I have no reason to hunt them. I mean, I do because of the quest, but I just don't care at the moment. Oh, that was goblin mold. Okay. We need to find more pine trees. a big time chat. Huge big time. Might as well get the birch tree while we're here. It's experience. Gets us closer to getting the ash tree. What's that? I heard that. I don't know what that was. That was very spooky. Um, let's see. We got undead we can kill here. Not really what I'm after. I want pine. Came here to get a deer get pine trees. If I can't get the deer, I'm definitely walking away with pine trees. sounds very satisfying very satisfying sound I hear you oh it was two wolves and we killed the plant at the same time Running actually increases the speed at which you run. At least not yet. It doesn't feel that way. I think it only, like, reduces how much stamina drain running uses. 
can't be certain on how certain skills work. I mean, acrobatics is very obvious. It increases your jump height and reduces the damage you take when you fall, but... I'm not sure about running. I don't know exactly what that entails. More pine, more pine, more pine. Gotta get it. I screwed up. It's okay, though. I can kill the dead in here. There's a lot of them. Might as well get some easy experience. Hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. Hey, look at me. I still don't know if, like, they all trigger because you're picking, like, mushrooms and flowers in here, but... I don't know. It might just be, like, if you're near their tombstone, they freak out. Not sure. Oh, God. Oh, lordy, he coming. Oh, lordy, he coming. Blow them all up. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Well, that's so. Uh, <laughs> Tornado. Tornado. Ow. It's throwing stuff at me. is very delayed at the moment. I don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna kill the deer. There's no point. No point in killing the deer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why you guys can't see it. I'm sorry. One sec. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Hello, hello. Um, I'm not sure if there's much more pine here. I think we got it all. I'm not certain. Got all the pine. Okay. We might as well save. Okay. And I'm going to go to, I think, the hills or something. Or no, no, wait. Um, the grassland area has... Some pine trees. The woods, sorry. It calls itself a wood, but it's mostly just grassland. Of course, we can 
and stop for pine trees here and there. that quest too up there really fast up 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 we go there's a pine tree there's several pine trees down there they're gone stuff is in the ground? No idea. It's a distraction. It's there to get us killed. This is game over. <laughs> but it was daytime. The death knell told us. It is time. I don't like that voice. Wisdom and foresight, blood runs through your veins. Oh, it's daddy. <laughs> um, let's see. The ability to tap into my power will be greatly hindered. Oh, no. I know what a tether is. Warp stones. Hmm. Well, I've died many times, so. <laughs> As you approached my steps, I felt a strain on a tether. I suspect there is a warpstone contained within the caves under the steps. Aha. Okay. So we have to fight the elves. Prayer of forgiveness. Please. Mom, no hands. I wasn't certain if that cloud was going to save me, so. <laughs> I knew it was coming, I just didn't know if it was going to save me. I didn't want to take a chance. <laughs> Perks of being a druid. Because <laughs> if it didn't save me, I would have died. all these pine trees. Ooh, goblin, huh? What are you doing here? Oh, more goblins. <laughs> Boom. Ow. Normal day chopping trees down. <laughs> Just watching him get destroyed in the background. I don't know what I got to do, but I'm just bad my own business. <laughs>
at you. There's a goblin all the way over there. He's not bugging anyone. I say after I murdered his friends. Looks like uh, a lot of stuff is being skipped on the playback, so I don't even know if YouTube is getting the uh, footage or not. Oh no. It's okay. It's gonna look like I edited the video, but I didn't. <laughs> Also helps that they're very visible from a distance. Uh oh. <laughs> what have I done to my character? Third person fix it. It did. down here. Three in a row. That's what we're here for. I think I will go in that dungeon as well. Mentions there's portal. Oh no, there's four. Ooh. Mentions there's some sort of portal underneath the steps, so I might as well go there. Maybe we'll fight more of the Unforgiven. Maybe. I can chop this one down. It's huge. So far, this place has been great for the pine wood. We may actually have pine wood to do something with. You know, since we lost it all. Mysteriously. Yeah, we did. Or 
combat? With what? What are we in combat with? Oh my god. I don't know. saying we're in combat, but I don't believe it for a moment. Now we're in combat. <laughs> that would be a terrible bug, to be permanently stuck in combat and never be able to ever level up. <laughs> I would just cry. <laughs> Not in combat! You know I'm not in combat. <laughs> Why does it say I'm in combat? I don't know. I don't know. gonna be like some sort of quest or something you can do with these stones. I don't know what is possible. Definitely interesting little tidbits on the landscape. There's a story there somewhere. Boom. Okay. We got every for soup. Nope. I see the tree, I'm going for it. <laughs> we need the wood. We need the pine wood. If I hadn't looked to my right, I wouldn't have seen all these pine trees just waiting here for me. It's also giving me a bundle of twigs, too. And I don't even know what we do with that, but I might as well hang on to it. good. Put a tiny pine tree in my cart. Go on through the hills. It'll smell like pine forever. Can you imagine how much money you would make if you made scented, like, bags or <laughs> basically the things we put in, like, cars. The equivalent of today's, like, car scent things. I don't even know what the name of those are. The little, like, uh, fake little pine trees that you stick in your car. Imagine being in the medieval era and realizing people want, you know, nice smells. So you make these nice little, like, bags of grain that have been scented with some form of something. Now you can bring the scent of the forest with you anywhere with this pine bag. Yes, it's very nice. Oh, oh god. Ah, fellow bear hat enjoyer too. Fortunately for you, you're in my way. <laughs> I would like some ore as well, please. I think we do need iron ore. Raw iron. I think. I don't remember. It would make more sense that you needed, like, smelted iron for crafting than, like, ore. I 
Still don't know where those campgrounds are. <laughs> the fairgrounds. I, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna take that. I found out on my single player though, um, in terms of like boxes like this, it's very much worth exploring boxes like that because you can end up walking away with resources you wouldn't otherwise be able to get at the moment. Like ores and alchemical ingredients that are just, you know, at that point in time, locked. Not able to find them. Oh, they're fireflies. Okay, I was wondering what these were. Oh, that's a lot of goblins. Run. I gotta find a better synergy with the, uh, the vines. Like, the vines and tornado are okay, because I can guarantee once they enter the field of influence, they're not running away from it. But there needs to be a better way. We also need a lot of stone. I think this place is just rich in resources, period. get well, first of all what are these interesting we get peck and then we're gonna get nature lightning and I can probably put peck on my bar here so with prayer forgiveness Used to destroy warp stones. Ah. Annoying skill that you have to have equipped to do a thing. That's... I don't like that. I don't really need the coal so much. I need the stone. Oh, there's a goblin. Get him, bird! <laughs> ah! That's kinda cool. Bird does a bit of damage. He broke his armor. Nice. illuminates. Shiny. Oh, 
problem with Peck is it's like... I mean, it's, it's not a powerful skill, but I have to, like, aim it, and it only hits a specific area. <laughs> the bird's just like... Ah. It's not enough to get gold now. Is this gold? It is. We can get gold. Harvest gold, chat. Look at that. I don't know what we can do with it. But we have it. Mountain. Very good for resources. <laughs> Better than most of the mines in the game. Tornado. Uh. I want that. <laughs> I don't know what it was. It was like some kind of glowy tree in a jar. <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> the hell? Ah. dodging. I believe the audacity of him.
no idea where this cave entrance is, or if it's even in the game at the moment, but... <laughs> We're looking. right there the whole time. How much uh, pine wood I have? I have 186. That is more than enough for most of the crafting recipes. Or buildings, I should say. But I definitely want to walk away with even more. what it was. It was jumping XP. <laughs> oh, there it is. I was supposed to jump from area to area. <laughs> I'm almost dead. Where's my healing potion? Hey, I can just, like, do this. Oh, yeah, it doesn't register as an actual... It registers as a food item. That's so weird. Okay. It was only 15 experience. It was not worth almost dying over. Oh. Oh. Bad. Bad goblin. Yeah. You have to die! Come on. Gotcha. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Tornado. This is a cool place. Definitely you can see that stolen realm kind of feel to it with the asset pack, but... Still a very different kind of game. I don't think we can enter this. The hell?
Okay, Tornado just went somewhere. Okay, this place, I can't get into. Oh, oh god. Oh god, get his arm like lasagna into that. Oh, oh. That's horrible. Okay, that's like, I bet, the way out of the dungeon. Let's heal up. Let's save the game again. As I am paranoid. Killed a bunch of you goblins. Banana bread. <laughs> okay. O okay. Where's he going? He's just floating now. <laughs> he has new powers. <laughs> oh god. Why are they all doing that? That's it. You've annoyed me. Now I freeze you. That goblin is still floating or not? Unless he fell down and was one of the ones we just blew up. I don't know. Well, this looks ominous. Instances that there's like a lot of stuff on a table or something in the game. Like outside of towns, so you don't really see that. I'm really hoping the developer keeps that up because I like having like substance just laying around in my games. You don't touch it. Okay, I think I have to use the prayer. Uh, skill book. Prayer of forgiveness. Oh, what was that? I've got nothing for that. Glimpse in the near future and see what events await you.
Oh. <laughs> You're normally not supposed to have the calendar. That's how you unlock the calendar. Okay. I mean, we currently have the calendar. That's how you're supposed to unlock it. Exquisite thing. Cold coins. <gasps> so if I'd been peeling my eyes, I would have seen this before. It's not. And I don't know how to open that. It's not just for show either, because there was like goblins in there. Let's have to go up there, but it doesn't seem exactly right. Nope, there's nothing up here. Probably not in the game yet. <laughs> All right. Hello there, friend. Chicken. <laughs> chicken is just so powerful. Once you see the chicken, it's already over. You know you're dead. There's no getting around, you know, it's over. Chicken is a god tier spell, and anyone who has the power to assume that god tier spell, you should. You should just bow down in reverence. Destruction. Destruction clucker. Oh no. Alright. I guess we go back to Joffrey and see what he gives us. Because we got no experience and no gold for that quest. <laughs> I mean, we got experience from the goblins, but a very small amount. <laughs> Mainly it's for the calendar. Now I wonder, are they going to like reset our characters at a certain point, or do we get to keep our progress? Ooh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of resources. I'm going to want those. Let's go to the stronghold. Joffrey! I've returned! Yes, I know. Participate in your vision at Wolfdover Timberland. So it gives you a guaranteed quest in the Timberland. Interesting. I'm not going to build anything just yet. I don't even know if we have the stuff. I'd rather play it safe than sorry. And yeah, so it's not like an event that's on the calendar. It's its own thing. We go there nonetheless. Get the 
this quest underway. <clears throat> okay, here we are. <gasps> Proof. <laughs> it's just like that's that's your quest. Proof. Go get it. Oh my god! Uh... Come at me. They don't want to leave the safety of the thing. Oh wow. Thing isn't upstairs. Oh, can't go to it. Oh god! What happens if you're inside that when it, like, turns off? <gasps> Is that a spell he used? It's tricky. <laughs> I'm trying to hit him with those. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he is trying to hit me with some shit. I think he's the one doing it. I don't know. <laughs> the screaming. Oh my god. Ah! Who's getting me? Okay, someone is someone is being cheeky. Someone's casting spells at me, and I don't like it. Where? Who? When? How? I think they're dead. Return to Joffrey. Okay, so we did it. Nice. I got a sneeze I can feel. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. No. But first, I'm going to grab this. Who is doing that? Is it the contraption? It might just be the contraption. It might not actually be a person. But then I keep getting hit by something. I don't know what that is. Okay, well there, there's that thing over there. That could be exactly who's doing that to me. No! Oh, that's lame. Now we gotta do it all over again. <laughs> the hell? Stinky goblin?
did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, so there's like goblins right next to the drill. And bandits right next to the drill. Ugh. <laughs> Destroy the glowing orb inside the structure. What? Oh, there is an upstairs this time. <laughs> it's gonna explode right away. Wow. It even took out the trees. Oh, that's cool. I want to see more of those events. <laughs> oh my god. It's a shame that you can't do that when the enemies are coming out at you, like trying to attack you. Just blow it up while they're inside it. <laughs> Run up the stairs. Hit the crystals. Boom. There's a wolf. Oh, bye, wolf. Oh, I hope you have wings! <laughs> oh, God. He survives! <laughs> That's a strong wolf! Oh my goodness. He's totally- No, he's not! Come back here! Fine, you run away. Nope, oh, he's coming back. That's nuts, I tell you. That's nuts. That's just crazy. Okay. Not doing it. <laughs> Character is tired. They're tired. They've been running around so long. go back to Joffrey, but I also want to um, see how much it's going to cost for building things. Because I doubt we're going to build the smithy at this rate. We keep screwing up.
gain respect in Elder Glen. I don't know how we do that. <laughs> I know how to lose respect. You attack people. Okay, so I should check how much resources we have. We have 142 stone, 55 iron ore, 206 pine logs. No, 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 no. I think we have enough. I think we can do it. There's no way we don't have enough. Come on. Okay. Hey, there it is. We did it. The game's doing that weird glitchy stuff. Also, it's floating. Wow. That was not worth it. <laughs> no, we did. Oh my god. It's a new weapon. The hammer axe. Basically a pickaxe, but... Interesting. <sighs> so, yeah. That was... Not worth it. Because the weapons he sells are very few. Can I load? My question is, is it overwrite what we did? Did not. Can I get rid of the smithy? No, can't get rid of the smithy once you've added it in. That's upsetting. I don't want to do the bakery just yet. I don't really see myself caring about a bakery. I know it's a quest, but... Have hay. Random ores to delivery box every day. I don't know where we get a basic mining pick from. I mean, I'm very curious what the aviary has. <gasps> Never mind, it's bugged. <laughs> very bugged. Very bugged. Oh, 
so very bugged. We don't know. themed skills. Graveyard. Strange vendor becomes available to you. Hmm. Quarry sounds like a great idea, but I don't know where to get a basic mining pick. Because I don't think... I think the item by name is exactly what you need. And the fact that we don't know where to get that is a problem. Do the general store. And I can't build because it won't let me. I don't want a bugged, like, thing. <sighs> it's disappointing. All right, let's finish the bakery like it wants us to. Maybe that's what's holding us back. Maybe we have to build the bakery. I don't think I have enough wheat. I don't have enough wheat. Giving me something I can't do anything with. No. some of the resources. Well, I have everything except the wheat, so if you have wheat... Give me 43 wheat. What was it, 50? Yeah. Damn. There's like a little town sign here. change the name of the town. I didn't know that. Oh, eventually we're gonna get income and such. That's cool. Theme levels. Really? Increasing a village's druid level attract four spoke animals and the unique NPCs to your village. You gain access to new unique druid type decorations. Look, I didn't even know this whole thing was here. That's really cool. Neat. There's at least three slots for additional levels and such. That's neat. Okay. I don't think we have any, like, druid-themed things. Don't think themes exist yet. Okay, so let's go on an adventure. I think we can build the wizard tower at some point. We'll, we'll need more arcane stuff, but we're getting there. Let's chop down these trees. Might as well chop them down. We will need the pine wood. In 
the far flung future. like areas I haven't been to at all. Three Sisters Forest. We haven't been there. Um, that place doesn't even have a name, so it means it doesn't exist at the moment. Wolfden Priory. Alright, well let's go to the Three Sisters Forest first. Let's see what that's about. I don't know where our Oh, there we are. <laughs> it's like, where the heck is our character? I don't know. Just running around. Come on. Come on. There he goes. They like follow the roads on purpose. A little problematic though, because if I want to go in one direction straight, they're just going to ignore what I'm telling them to do and they're going to go wherever there is some sort of curve or dirt road. Alright, wow. Wow. This place is pretty. We haven't been here before. Good pot there in the water. Just iron. We might as well like work on our smithing at some point. I, mean, I guess I will build that smithy at some point. It just. I don't really see much of a point to building it if, you know, really all he has is crappy gear. Unless, of course, that mining pick is actually a mining pick and it just has a weird name, but. Because then we could just buy that from him and do something with the other. Uh, with the quarry area. I don't know. That. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that was foraging. It didn't attack me. I thought it attacked me. Interesting. Let me get another one of those bugs. Oh, it does explode. has a lot of iron. Looks like. I will take it. If there's a skill here. What? Oh! 
Cultist magi- oh, good. <laughs> It was an actual boss fight. <laughs> he just erased me. Okay. You wanna play that way? We'll play that way. That happened so fast, I didn't have time to react to what I was seeing. His main instinct was to turn into a chicken and blow him up, but uh, I guess we missed that, or it didn't do enough damage to kill him, so that's a first. He kind of killed me quick. All right. We're going to save the game. Those little soul flies up there. Hang on, now that I know that there's actually like a worthy foe here, I kinda wanna kill it. Um The Sphinx form is cute, but uh gotta get rid of it. It's it's not helpful. See, I feel dirty because Tombstone here is easily one of the strongest abilities in the game, in my opinion. But I don't want to use it. It's very powerful. And I'm not going to use it because we're not a necromancer. Oh, God. He doesn't... God, he doesn't give you a chance to run away. Wait, what was that synergy? Poison and fire did something. believe we can uh, do anything else to him. I'm going to walk in the damn... We got 250 gold for that. That's it. <laughs> that was lame. You couldn't even give me anything. <laughs> That's cool. It froze his, uh... Looks like it froze his mist. <laughs> Do it again? No. I was hoping I'd get, like, an item for doing that. Instead, all we got was money. Oh, there's a cave here. Light shelter. It's dark. It's dark in here. I'm gonna save. Ooh, I like it in here. It's pretty. Very pretty. I don't exactly know what's in the flight shelter, but... there's any enemies in here so I'm gonna put my weapon away
I say that, there could be some horrifying thing waiting for me in here. pick any of these things up. Sometimes transforming fix it. Fixes it. Nope. Did not fix it. Well, shit. Now we gotta go back in. That's irritating. I will need it to get our smithing skill up. There may yet be, like, stronger weapons that we can actually make. We just don't have the skill for it yet. I think smithing is worth getting into. This is pretty. belongs to me. Oh, I tried to ragdoll, but instead I gave myself money. <laughs> Bug. Do glow bug things. There's another cave. I want to mine these uh, nodes before we go in there. Because I'm worried I'm going to get bugged out again. Uh -huh. Yes. 
putrid cave. Well, this one is pitch black. Completely. There's no contest here. I must have a torch. mine it after you've touched it. There should be like zombies in here or some horrible forgotten beast. That's just a hole. <laughs> I don't think I want to go down there. Oh, okay, no, no, it literally, okay. Just wraps around there. So similar to that other cave area. All right. the entrance. Recognize that. Okay, so this is the room with all the ore. Ah. There's a pathway that goes down. Unless this is the exact same room I just came out of. It is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there is much else to this place. Now, if that's supposed to be ore, we can't collect it. But, part of me says, no, it's probably not. It's just supposed to be in the environment. Okay. Let's get our weapon back out. leaving the instance. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, we camp again. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> I don't know why they put a box there to have you want to see what's in the box, only to mess up really bad. I'm not going to worry about the ores over here. We've already received them. Jumping experience. Woo! Now. I want it. Caught a fairy. You can loot the fairy's home if you find it. Whoa. You scared the crap out of me. Hey, guess what? I have. Oh, he has power. Too bad, I have chicken.
No. <laughs> Oh, there's the fairy's home. Who's firing at me? Ooh! <laughs> Little eyeball guy. Well. Oh, <laughs> you okay, little buddy? You okay. You okay. It's just ticklish, it's all. fairy house. 150 gold and a fairy staff? Okay. What does it look like? Oh. Oh. What? Well. I don't... Know what that does. Okay. Well, that's an interesting item. Um, I'm sure there'll be more about that at some point. <laughs> Necromancy tape. Suicide skill. Suicide skill. Undead thrall. Nope, I'm not a necromancer. I'm not doing necromancy. You could challenge that ghost down there. I don't want to do that again. No, thank you. No, unless he drops something cool, which he did not. Could be he just dropped nothing, but he could also have the capability of dropping something. All I know is I got gold from it instead. I got my chicken! I told you you could heal. This is the place to go. And there's still other kinds of, like, ore that's well beyond iron, so... I guess this is the place you go when you're just leveling it all. Dwarven Boar Spear. Spear. How strong is that? 35. It's less powerful than our weapon. That's neat. to do. That's my ore, man. <laughs> Goblin thinks he's big billy badass until I show up and destroy him. Looks like you're intended to fall down there. <laughs> it's a tower. 
Why do I have like a hammer sticking out of my rig? What the hell was that about? I have a hammer up my butt. Why do I have a hammer up my butt? That is something I will never know. It's not my armor, is it? I don't know why I have that. As, how long has that been there? <laughs> why is that there? <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> why do I have a hammer? <laughs> do I still have it? Yes, I do. Well, that's really getting irritating. I don't know why that's there. We're fine. You can just try to blow up on me. Weren't going to happen. I'm trying to ignore the fact that I have a hammer. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Cool. So I really like this area. It's kind of nice. Oh, that guy has a bow? Ow! Detonation. Poison and fire causes detonation. Ring, ring. Don't ever try that in real life. Will not end the way you think. Yeah. Barely took any damage, did you? Stop it. God, you're strong. Why are you so strong? Fast to kill you. Goblin stuff. Some necromancy altar. Lots of dead bodies. Lots of dead bodies. Chicken had a hammer for a moment. Yeah, I don't know where the hammer came from. 
Uh, it's not my new armor, so I don't know. Maybe I somehow have it stuck to me in this location? But yeah, it's kind of like on me. I don't know why. Got some rare ore there. Ooh, water ore. I don't know what that's for. Ah. Uh. Stop screaming, you're fine. You're fine! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh god. What an entrance. Accurate. Try shoot this. Cast so close to me. I wanted to cast it over there. Yeah. Well, at least we walked into it. <laughs> Chicken with a hammer. Storm, it pulls you up. Ah, too many goblins. Okay, they're going to kill my ass again. I need to run. I need to run. Could honestly afford more potions. I don't know why I never like splurge on potions. For the archers. Ah. <laughs> no longer dying to one hit from a chicken. Where'd he go? Some of the goblin here. 
don't know where they went. Oh, they're there. <laughs> Are you dead yet? Yes. How's your night, whoever? My tornado go. Just cast it. It's gone. Go away. <laughs> Did I send him off the cliff? No, I just killed him outright. I thought I was gonna literally send him flying. That's a shame. Wow. died from his wounds. I think they just keep spawning in. Goomba. Gobble. Goblino. So they call it Three Sisters, I guess, because of the three, like, big towers. What? Who fired at me? They're still firing at me. Do they? <laughs> Find and shoot the target. It's over there. rating actually does for us. Especially our build. Like, even if I knew what it did, I'm not sure what it truly does for us. I heard goblins. Okay, let's save the game. And I see a cave I didn't see before that's up there. <laughs> this. <laughs> no, I'm trapped forever. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Oh, oh, it was a bug. <laughs> it was a bug. I think, <laughs> right? I don't think we were supposed to be like wedged in there. Um, oh, there's still no way out. There is still no way out of here. Nope. It's, it's literally, uh, a massive dead end. Well, thank God we can fast travel inside. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> that was a problem. Okay. The week is almost over. Um, so that was Three Sisters Forest. I'm going to go to Woodhurst and Wolfden Priory. 
I think Woodhurst is another big town in the game. Big city, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to travel here, and I'm going to grab a drink when I arrive. Where's my harbinger? Where am I? Is he literally just... Oh my god. My character has been just running back and forth along the river. Come on. What's my model doing? Oh, I like how you can see the torch. That's cool. Look at me go, you know where I am. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay. Let's see what this town looks like. Oh, I love it. Fall. It's fall. It's perpetually fall. Who the hell are you? Fruitless journey. What's wrong? Oh no. You're right. I'll clear out the bandits. Sure. Oh, can we get some pumpkins? This would be so cool. This is a Fletcher, I'm guessing. Hmm. Okay. No, that's... They're not a Fletcher. It's, it's a guild, I think. Oh, yes. Yes. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Arrest me for taking all your stuff? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Do I still have the hammer? No. Okay, so the hammer was just an exclusive problem to that area. Interesting. I'm glad I don't still have it, because that would drive me insane. Oh, this is so comfy. I love it. What comfy this is. Hello? Room keepers. Oh, rooms. Quest is a work in progress. We did actually find one of the runes. And we, you know, fought something very not nice that came out of it. Oh, look at these rings. Rings, rings. Necklaces. It's my kind of shop. Yes. Can I get up here? You have this whole second floor, ma'am. Garrett wants in. I think if I go in there, there's no way out. <laughs> okay, chat. I'll be right back. Hey, gamer dude. Welcome back. I'm going to uh, grab a drink. I'll be right back. I'll leave these guys with this very uh, comfy little image. One second. Okay, I'm back. <sighs> this is easily the comfiest place in the entire game. I love it. I love it. If I had the time, the energy, and the money, I would turn the entirety of my property into a cobblestone paradise like this. <laughs> Just have like trees and ye old siding. Oh, it's pretty. Hi, sir. Who's this? Some adventurer. Can I pickpocket you? Oh, oh, he caught me. How 
are you supposed to pickpocket them if they just whip around? <laughs> I didn't press anything, by the way. I just... I wish I could oh my god. <laughs> They're so alert. <laughs> I think they gotta they gotta fix that, but Wah. There's so much. Yeah. It's so pretty here. I love it. Stop screaming, it's fine. Oh, oh, they gotta work on the outside, though. <laughs> they gotta work on that outside. Oh, my God. Also, are there, like, vendors? I'm your arm. Oh, no. No, the arm. Spices. Oh, I can't buy anything from her? That's a shame. In the church. Hello. Who are you? Okay. I don't care about asking for work, because I don't think there is a job here. Oh, right. It wasn't cheap, you know. It wasn't cheap, you know. I find it hard to shop at the market. <laughs> <laughs> I think I glitched out for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the shops are done here, unfortunately. Scouts. Relics. I can do that, sure. The big keep. button. I actually didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, so these homes have like little widow's perches. That's cool. Dear developer, please add like carved jack-o'-lanterns in this town. It's begging for it. It is begging for it. Maybe some pumpkinite ore. We can uh, make some weapons, Halloween weapons. Be perpetual Halloween town. That'd be awesome. Ooh, speaking of weapons. Spear master. Oh, he has a spur. Fleur spur. <laughs> it's a fleur spur. <laughs> Ermerger. The fleur spur. I like that town. That's my favorite town. I, I'm going to spend a lot of time there. If they allow us to build, um, like, actual random outposts in the game eventually, I'm going to be building somewhere nearby. <laughs> Probably here. Okay. Wolfden Priory. If it's anything like the town, oh, it is. It is. Also, I should probably equip an actual weapon, because right now all I have is a torch. Oh. Some very different looking uh, runes here. Nothing above, nothing below. Is that a tree? Might as well. Oh, oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's a freaking bear. There's <laughs> just out of nowhere. A freaking bear. <laughs> I was like, kind of awestruck by how pretty this is. And all of a sudden... <laughs> that was alarming. That was alarming. Ooh, 
can go in. Ooh. It's kind of bright in here. <laughs> Why is this so bright? I'm around the corner. What? to explore it. Where does this go? Nowhere. This place is going to be cool when it's done. I half expect it to fall. He's a jumper. <laughs> He's a jumper. I was jumping. Having a good time jumping. The entire place is sealed off by dirt. Yeah. So what's back here? Nothing. This entire dungeon is... Completely unfinished, just a few enemies running around. Darn it. I love this area though. There's a bunch of graves. that. Ash tree still can't do that. Ooh. Let me notice that. Big spooky uh, darkness. I bet there's like vampires and shit in this place. It's kind of giving me like New England vibes. <laughs> Church has seen better days. Why are you just ominously standing here? Friend? The Mad Monk. Isn't ready yet. Thank you for your patience. Damn it. <laughs> He's so mad, he forgot what he was going to tell us. I see another bear. We're gonna go deal with the bear. Wrong spell. <laughs> I got nervous. Damn, that does a lot of damage. Okay. Bear is a crispy critter. It's fine. Also, I love the shadow that darkness, like, and smoke casts on the land. That's so cool. This little boat. Oh, oh goodness. Well, that was, um, spoken. Come at me. The pig! What is this, Westfall? Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> and the weather got better. <laughs> it got better immediately. Ooh, that's new. Oh, never mind. It got bad again. Cool. Cool. I like it. It's 
just makes me want to get back into Morrowind modding and just make a place like this. It's a very comfy hobby of mine. Okay, so this is a really old fortress. Because it's got a castle, it's got walls, and it's got an interior of graveyards, so it's been here a long time. A lot of generations. And it's abandoned, <laughs> which makes it more mysterious. Come here, bear. Goodbye. Made sure he couldn't harm us. Yes, hands down my favorite area in the entire game. Chicken, 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 chicken. Gonna be some really interesting quest here, I'm sure, in the future. And the central tower, we can't get in the central tower. I don't know what to do with that is, but. <laughs> oh, that was a hard landing. I thought with my uh, jumping and fall skills, I'd be able to survive that. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. I'm going to say before I make another lapse in judgment like that. That was not good. I'm loving this whole region. It's beautiful. It's so comfy. I used to mod, um, you know, this brings back memories of when I used to play Minecraft a lot. I would do nothing but mod Minecraft to have fall textures. And that was it. <laughs> 
it had to be the season. It had to be fall and Halloween. Ah, cold. It's too cold. I don't know what else there is in this region. We haven't really run to much for enemies. Just a few, like, plants and zombies here and there. There's animals, but I'm not here to fight birds. The bears, though, that was cool. Lots of bears. Is this a road out or road somewhere else? I think it's a road out. that first tomb we discovered before? I'm not sure. Might be. There's more to this area than I haven't seen. I know there is. There has to be. Probably the far side over there we haven't been to. I don't know what that explosion was. It was probably a bird trying... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! There's this giant thing. Big, interesting-looking rock. Oh, it's the meteor! That's right, they were talking about this. Okay, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> you poor fools. Shoot at me, will you? <laughs> Throw you into the abyss, I will. <laughs> Spur, isn't it? Uh, bear, sorry. Come on, bear. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. I wonder if the bear will fight the man. I don't think the bear cares enough. <laughs> Will you two fight each other? <laughs> scurry, scurry. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't think they're gonna fight each other. They said this was like a mine within the asteroid. I wonder if there's going to be a unique ore in here. There's actually an event that occurs sometimes that will rain down like miniature asteroids and they're a special kind of ore. And I wonder if you can get that ore in here naturally. Maybe not, considering that event is supposed to be special. And that's the point. Oh, there's gold. Wait, is that gold or is that stone? Stone. Okay. Not gold. I still don't know what to do with gold. I don't think there is much we can do with gold. It's not a whole lot of ba oh nope, I spoke too soon. Oh god. I broke every bone in his body. <laughs> yeah, he 
isn't going to survive that. There's a lot of stone here! It's actually a great place to get stone, I'll have to keep that in mind. There's coal, iron, there's more stone. Stone's honestly the most valuable thing here at the moment. Just because it's very hard to get anywhere else. You know, until we find something more valuable. Is there anything else down here? I mean, there's boxes. Oh, yeah, another torch. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you only need one torch. I don't think you need any others. It'd be cool if there's like, um, you could get spices and use them as dye to dye the torches. That'd be neat. Have yourself like a nice amber colored torch or like a green torch or something. That'd be cool. Oh. Sword. <gasps> Chicken. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think that killed him. <laughs> I think that instantly killed him. that ore. I don't know what kind of ore that is, but I'm glad to have it. What are you doing? Okay, 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 okay. Yep, he's toast, he's toast, he's toast. <laughs> <laughs> a little excessive, but... <laughs> Why shouldn't I be? Now that's gold. That's gold. Like, I know there's weapon crafting and such. I don't know if there's going to be armor crafting. But if they add armor crafting, they should probably think about adding... Jewelry crafting. And then, of course, you can make all kinds of cool stuff. Otherwise, I'm not sure what you can do with silver and gold. Maybe later, maybe there's, like, upgrades and recipes that require them. I don't know. Possibly. Doing that weird shit again. Whee! Oh, <laughs> there you are. Ugh. <gasps> Thought I landed in the water. I didn't want to be in the water. Getting close to level 12, which means we're going to get our lovely nature lightning. I'm really hoping that's powerful, 
considering how far <laughs> it's taken us to get there. I mean, it's not very far in the tree. The druid stuff seems very balanced because it comes from a central like area, so I'm just hoping it's a very strong spell. It, it has to be a destructive, like, destructive-based spell. I can't imagine those bolts of lightning are gonna heal us. <laughs> Oh, we actually killed all the bandits. Okay, so there's no more bandits here. Alright. There's actually one more area. It's back here. Anything back here? No. Nothing back here. I do want to explore more of this uh, region, though, before we go. Wait, what? Oh, we went from there. Yeah. Did we? Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> be nice if there was a torch right there. Okay. Um, I'm going to save really quick. Just because... The bears are probably the most dangerous thing here. Uh, we could run into them at any time. There's like a... What is that? A fort or an abandoned farm or something? Abandoned area? Sort of stage. Of, ooh, it's a goblin fort. Pig in there? There's our pig! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Don't throw shit at me! Oh! <laughs> I think that was it. <laughs> I don't think there's. Oh, wait, there's a goblin spawner! Where do you think you're going? I can poison the goblin spawner. Ah! Hopefully, this time I can actually loot it. Or, you know. It could be an invisible wall that I cannot interact with. <laughs> no, I want the loot. Let me have the loot. Darn it. I'm mad. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, we still can't loot it. The game's not letting us. Darn it. Chicken. My chi Ow! Let's do my chicken things. Oh god, my camera. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god. How do I collect? Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 no. Where'd you come from? Where'd bandits come from in the wheat field? Are they waiting? To bear their lookout? That's it, Mr. Archer, you died. Come on, turn around, turn around, bird. They gotta fix the... Ah! Oh, the bird controls are a little nuts. At least for the fast birds. The, the raven is fine. I'm just chicken. Boom! Chicken that explodes. Him. I don't know. Ow! See, if I don't know where he is, he shot from over there. Oh, there he is. What are you looking at? Some dead man. <laughs> yeah, he's toast. Okay. Now I can collect the wheat. Imagine if you didn't see the bear and you went to go get the wheat beforehand. It kind of obscures your vision just a bit. So before you know it, there'd be this giant, horrible forest hamster on your head. <laughs> gather from this field anymore? It only took me that long to find that message. Wow. Okay. Pine tree. I don't think there's much else here. zone now. This is really cool. It's a shame I think I've explored it all now. Whoa! Gotcha. Okay. Let's save the game. We're gonna go somewhere else now. I'm not sure if there's any other areas that I haven't been able to explore yet. I think that was it. Oh no, we've never been there. The Hills of Delano. Did you ever check that amulet? Not yet. I'm going to be doing that. Definitely. I'm going to see where that skeleton is. Ooh, another pretty area. Okay, okay. Rocky Hills. Oh, <gasps> this place has pumpkins. You missed an opportunity, Dev. You should put pumpkins in the other zone. <laughs> Come on, this entire region is begging for it. Pumpkins everywhere. <gasps> That person looks mean. Let's take him out. Boom. He survived. Ow. Eternal 
what that was. Picked it up though. I'm guessing it's a quest. Definitely needs to make a great pumpkin world boss. <laughs> yeah. Dead. Whoop. <laughs> he realized he was doomed. He realized in that freaking second he was hella dead. <laughs> Got reach. Oh. oh no, what will I ever do? Poison, poison, poison. <laughs> the body was dead already. get to the point you can cast shapeshift. Not very far. I'll show you uh, after this ends. Let me actually it. Uh, so it was a spooky graveyard or something over there. Uh, in order to cast shapeshift, like even the most basic shapeshift, um, so that's level, your first like level up there is Willow's Run. It's a shapeshift. It's a rabbit. Uh, if you go down this tree, the wolf, these are all shape-shifting skills. Every single one of these. So, you get a wolf, uh, you can turn into a boar temporarily, you can turn into a bear temporarily, you can turn into another bear temporarily, a goblin, um... That seems kind of useless. <laughs> you turn into a goblin, they, they won't attack you, I don't know. The chicken, which is easily one of the best spells in the game. I'm going to say that right off the bat. And then you have two forms of, like, birds. You've got the Reapwing and then the Firebirds. And then you have the Raven. And then you have, basically, Articuno, Rhymebeak, and then Thunderbill. And uh, those are all your shape-shifting spells. Then this appears to be like elemental fury or something i don't know no idea what these are gonna be these are like crow spells i mean these two here say you shapeshift but they're more for like an action so they're similar to like these i don't know why these and these are separated they should be kind of the same this is like a ability that lets you summon crows and these are all like your plants and such that do, you know, awesome things. Yeah, Drudry is pretty awesome. I like it. This is spooky. Oh wow, this is spooky. I love it. Yep, definitely a graveyard. Okay, graveyard. I would love to get, like, a map creator for this. Because these assets are really easy to, like, understand and just be super cool to use. This is a sconce, but there's no book here. 
That's a shame. Die already. You join the Discord? Hey, thank you for joining. Yeah, I made that Discord a while ago. It doesn't really get any real traffic, but that's really just. It's kind of the nature of the channel, you know. Discord is going to perform a lot worse than the channel does, but it's, a, you know, a place that people who want to keep in touch with what's going on on my channel or in general just want to hang out somewhere, they have a place to go. I remember some of my friends were pushing for me to get a Discord, and I was like, well, I'm not really popular or anything, so I don't know why I should have one. But then they said, yeah, it's, it's not just another way for people to know when you're streaming or if they have questions that otherwise they don't, you know, pose on the channel. Make it more traffic. You start playing the Discord and invite your video description about the about page. I have put it in, like, the description stuff before, and it, it didn't really didn't really take off. I mean, not that I care about the Discord as much. I mean, again, it's the channel I put all my work into. But it's just a nice little auxiliary area for links and uh, sharing information. Okay, so this area is completely worthless. <laughs> nothing up here. It's cool looking, though. Let's see what's in this castle, but I'm pretty sure he's not making this castle. It looks way too clean, which means it's probably nothing new. Mayworth Keys. That's new. Hi. Oh, it's an actual vampire. Wait, could we become a vampire fighting him? Okay. Ow. Okay, so this is where you find vampires. Ow! Bitch! Well, I can confirm there's vampires in the, uh, early access. I don't know where he went. <laughs> I don't know where he went. <laughs> that was cool, I guess. I don't know where he is. I think he's in the back. He said he was like level one, but he had like a red level? Was he level one? <sighs> what the hell? Where did he go? I wanted to kill him. Let him hit me a few times because I was curious what would happen, but he just kind of like stood there for a bit.
could try uh, coming back here and trying to get the encounter to happen again. Yeah, let's do that. That was genuinely unique. <laughs> that was very unique. I didn't expect that. Um, okay, let's try that again. My guess is you have to find vampires and werewolves, and there has to be some sort of event that triggers with them that allows you to get the skill. Which means vampirism could be in this version of the game. We just have to figure out what to do with the vampire. Although I wouldn't put my hopes and prayers on that because, I mean, the early access nature of it is very unlikely. Where is the door? I think the door is over here. Let's go run back over to him and kill him and see what happens when we kill him. At the very least, now you know to watch out for crypts and castles and shit. That's kind of cool. I wonder if I can be a lightning fire. Okay, so he's going to come out. Oh, he's level 12 now? <laughs> Die, monster! You don't belong in this world! We killed him! Oh, wow, you can pick up the lid. That's cool. Okay, um, so I'm gonna guess that did not give me the skill line. No. What? You hear that? What the hell was that? There's a thing down there. I don't know what that is. You heard that. You saw that, right? It was like mist. What was that about? Here it is again, but I don't see it this time. There's some spooky secrets here. Spooky secrets. Super spooky. And there could always be a book just laying around. But... I want to know. Is there something? Is there something I'm missing out? Whispers aren't coming from the coffin. It's like an actual thing that's moving around. It's like haunted. The place is haunted. There's nothing else here. Just the one vampire. Damn. It's over there. That is actually unsettling. Like you're hearing whispers. And then you'll see something out of the corner of your eyes, and it's gone. 
Wow. Didn't think a game with this kind of graphics would um, creep me out a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of neat. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. What the frig? Is that a thing I can kill? I love how that's my first instinct. Is that a thing I can kill? Shit. Well? What? What? I got a sword. And an achievement. Flamberge of Devilna. What? Okay, it has nothing to do with the vampire, but that's interesting. I got a unique sword. This <laughs> became King Arthur. Yeah, <laughs> I had a freaking Arthur moment. It's like there's a ghost after I slew a vampire. There's another one there. Come here. Damn it. Can I get more? I think he's inside the wall. Oh. Hey. 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 <laughs> the fuck? That is so neat. That's so weird and neat and creepy. I don't think he can give it more than once every visit. Yeah, he's like trying to form, but he can't. That's cool. That's really cool. Dang, that's that's intriguing. Dude, that's that's the parts of the game that I, I think is so cool. The concept of the game, and then it's like, there is an event no one tells you about. Or maybe they do tell you about it, but I didn't know anything about it. I find a vampire, and then I hear whispering, and then I follow the whispering, and there's a ghost. There he is again. He's not taking full shape. He's just, like, crouching. Is that a thing I can kill? First reaction. I know, it's like, is that a thing I can kill? <laughs> it's like, why is it there? Can I slay it? Oh, a vista. Oh, cool. I haven't seen one of those before. Oh, that's neat. That kind of really... Yeah, that puts me in the world, too, because I see my character, and they're like... Oh, the creepy ass ghost! No! It's behind me! It's behind me! You engage in the Vista mechanic, and it runs up behind you and pushes you off the ledge. Okay, so that's really neat. Um, so it's like its own little sub-achievement, and you get a pretty cool flamberge. And for all intents and purposes, it seems to be exactly the same as the Claymore. I mean, we'll wield it for a bit. It, it's a cool thing to have. You know, I didn't even know about it until now. So what's this? Yeah, that, that whole sequence of events was super creepy and awesome. I was already, like, mystified by finding my first vampire. Oh, an actual pumpkin I can throw. Come here. <laughs> Ow! I'll slay you with my new sword. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. What else was running up on me? Is that a goblin? I think it's a goblin. Sounds like a goblin. Yep, it's a goblin. <laughs> nice. I wonder what other secrets are in the game at this very moment. What else can we run into? I want to keep slaying that vampire to find out if it has any loot. 
Because it's a pretty unique encounter. There's only one of them. Vampire gameplay looks pretty awesome, too. Um, I did see a little demo on that that the developer was playing, and they look super satisfying. Also, is there going to be, like, weapon enchanting in this game? Because it'd be really cool to have, like, a nice magical effect coming off this sword. This little area looks very unfinished. Also, I bet this is like the region that you find werewolves in. This seems like the place that you could get ambushed by something horrible. Let's go somewhere else. Imbuing is supposed to be a thing. Imbuing. Imbuing. Sorry, I read that wrong. <laughs> I thought that was like a name for something. Imbuing. Okay, so there is going to be imbuing. Well, that's cool. Oh, yeah, we still got other areas we haven't explored, but let's go get that necklace first because I don't want to forget about it. Um, yeah, because I'd like to see some form of enchanting, some form of imbuing. That'd be cool. Do you want to know how to become a vampire? Wait, can you in this? Like, can you actually do it during this uh, thing? I mean, I, I don't care for a spoiler in it. If, if there is a way to do it, I want to know about it. Oh, you get your ass beat by it. Okay, okay. Well, I don't necessarily want this character to become the vampire. Because Agrius has always been a werewolf. But... I have my other character. So it is like Elder Scrolls. Again, there's that's the Elder Scrolls influence. It's like, yeah, it's a disease. You're going to get hella sick from it. That's cool. You know, I think we should I think we should switch to my my Blood Knight to do that. If that's if that actually is a thing at this point in the game. And if that is actually how it works, then like I said before, maybe these are accessible. I said maybe they're accessible. They're grayed out because they're quest-based. So that's kind of cool. It's like a secret. It's a secret that you'll only get if you know what to do. You got this information from the Discord? Okay, I really I really hope. <laughs> We're going to go get the necklace, and then I'm going to switch over to my Blood Knight. And I'll play around with my Blood Knight. You guys get to see that character. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll become a vampire. That'll be neat. Unless they too <laughs> They're saying it because they're hoping That's how it is They're like, ah, oh, Elder Scrolls, it makes sense Wait, is this the right area? I don't think, no, this is not the right area What am I doing? I mean, it's coming from that Discord I think it's, yeah, I think it is 100% information Just because they're all, like, super excited about the game Get out of my way Get out of my way, bandit I'm just gonna kill this bandit. Got him. Okay. Give me this. I went to the wrong place. It's the, it's the foothills. It's like the rocky hill area. One person. Okay, yeah, so... You made a blood knight? Tell me... <laughs> he has to get over here. The get over here ability? Um, I haven't seen that, but that'd be kind of cool if there is one. Wait, it wasn't the hills. Where was it? Now I'm, I'm like, confused. It's not the Steps of Eros. It's not this place. 
It's, uh... Is it Kenmore? I think it's Kenmore. Oh, no, you mean the Death Grip. No, that was, a uh, Death Knights had that. Um, Blood Knight was, Blood is just a, um... What do you call it? Oh, yeah, we haven't even been over there. Shit. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a werewolf. <laughs> Who knows? Uh... No, it's not Kenmore. Where the heck was this? Why don't I just look at the quest? Am I dumb? Kenmore Woods. Yeah, it's Kenmore. But for reasons I'll never know, I'm, I'm having a brain fart. Okay, so it's the Flatlands, yeah. Which are technically the woods. Nayworth keep message. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was the place I was just at. I mean, that seemed pretty significant. The vampire, like, has a full animation, scares the shit out of me, and then starts attacking. Yeah, that that's like the super secret vampire class initiator. That's cool. That is so cool. I actually really want to go do that right now, but I want, <laughs> I want to try for this really fast. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay, it's okay. I do that sometimes. I mean, I, I'm kind of hoping there's a death grip of sorts, but I don't know if there is. If not, it'd be something to suggest to the, uh, the creator, be like, uh, hey, uh, either the blood tree, vampire... Tree. Actually, I don't even know what abilities a vampire has, so maybe they have the, the death grip. Basically, you just compel a target that you can see, yoink them towards you, and they get stunned for like a second. Okay, so you said it was a skeleton with a... I saw... I think I saw the skeleton in question. No, I think they're inside the actual building. Yeah, they're like laying down on a slab, and there's like a nice little lamp next to them. Whoa, 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 less than one frame a second. What happened? Will that fix it? Definitely not. <laughs> oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> okay, hang on. Um, we're gonna leave the area because I'm not gonna be able to go grabbing anything while that's happening. Skeleton on a table. Oh, it's also... Yeah, I, I have walked by a skeleton laying down. I can't believe, for whatever reason, I didn't think to look at it closer. It's one of those things that's obvious in front of you and you never think about it. It's like looking for a necklace that went missing a hundred years ago. Uh, last seen in this place. Oh, by the way, there's a body that was entombed here. I wouldn't die check. Am I stupid? I guess I'm stupid. <laughs> yeah, it should be right up here. Yeah, there it is. Oh my, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, thank you. I'm dumb. <laughs> Goblin. Goblin. I'm dumb! <laughs> oh my god, oh, here they come. <laughs> hey, I got level 12. Nice. Here, let's just uh, blow them up, shall we? Still running into that. that was actually a really well placed um, fire tornado. It was amazing. Okay, I'm gonna level up really quick. Billy really can be a vampire. I'm gonna be complete vampire ne necromancer angelode. Nice. Oh, I'm being attacked. Apparently, you can level up in the middle of combat. Ah! Ah! Could you not? Please. I mean, Vampire is, I mean, it is 100% a planned character in the game, but I, you know, like, you're saying people have already unlocked it, and then we found a vampire, and they're saying it's that place. It has to be true. I want to believe it's true. Uh, I want to quickly learn my druid spell. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we got the uh, nature lightning. Now, is it going to be green lightning? Please, 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 please. Maybe. Nature. Lightning. 
We're gonna put our field of ivy there. Okay. What does this do? That was the wrong spell. Sorry. <laughs> Hang on. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh. It creates flowers where you shoot. Oh, I can cast it fast. Okay, we gotta see what this does. Let's find something to kill. Ghost. And then we will uh, pursue vampirism on our other character. Hi. It's not that powerful, but... I mean, it, it staggers them. Okay, it's powerful if you, like, literally pinpoint them. I mean, the druid stuff is all about balance. So the fact that I can cast this really quick, and it takes me out of, like, range of melee attackers is nice. So here's what I want to know. If I go into the air, and I drop down... Okay, yep, that's where it's powerful. Oh, yes. Okay, that's why... Yep, that's... That's its real strength. Yeah. I can have some fun doing that. I can stay airborne. It's got some nice AoE. And if I mix it with this... <laughs> okay, yeah, that is actually really, really useful. Oh, they're gonna kill my ass. My health! Ranged enemies are still a problem. Okay. We're gonna save, and we're gonna switch characters. We are going to load Amelia Darkheart. <clears throat> is hover an ability or is a side effect of casting? Uh, that was casting the ability. So basically the ability causes you to rise up and do that. And uh, as a result, I was able to stay airborne. But the archers were hurting me. That was the problem. Alright, so this is my Blood Knight character. Uh, I have a permanent blood sword. Uh, my spell with the Icarian blade glitched. And it gave, it deposited the blade in my inventory after removing it. So I have the strongest sword in the game currently. <laughs> Permanently. Forever. I also have no armor. So, um, yeah. And there's the tombstone spell. Uh, this is the spell that makes enemies go pop. Um, I can exchange my health for mana on demand. I can lifesteal. I can summon my boy. Where's he going? My boy. <laughs> My boy, let him go. Uh, I can throw blood spears. Whoa. Uh, and I can make corpses explode, which is very powerful, but I find it very niche. I think it'd be better if I had less destructive spells. Uh, so let's go become a vampire. If, you know, that's possible. I really hope it is. <laughs> I want to see some of this cool shit. <laughs> So the we have to cross over here. Oh, it's taking us forever. We don't have a mount, that's why. There's an owl mount in the game. I don't think it's like currently in the game, but I did see somebody playing with the owl mount. It looked really cool. There's apparently also gonna be these like they look like Elden Ring inspired battles. There's like these gigantic roving constructs that you can break down and mount combat becomes very essential. If you finish the stables, the dude at the beginning gives you Yeah, I know he gives you donkey. He gives you donkey. I never did it. I <laughs> I never did it. <laughs> I'm aware of the donkey. I'm aware of the donkey. 
I want a flying mount, though. I want something, you know, more robust. Like a dire wolf or something. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna have to wait till nighttime, but... Don't know. Yeah, I, I did, like, I did see people get the donkey. I am, I am aware of the donkey. That's the castle. We have no armor, so this could end very badly. But then again, we are trying to get ourselves beaten up, so... Do 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 Pumpkin. She's tired. Tired. Also, this character is a halfling. So I made myself as small as possible to see if it was harder for enemies to hit me. So far, the jury's kind of out. I don't know if they can hit you easier when you're taller, or if they have just as much ability. I'd like to think I'm harder to hit. I'll tell you one thing, it's harder to, harder to use crafting stations. Ah, what a beautiful day. Do, 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 do. How can I watch this without subway surfers? Whatever the hell that is. Some kind of melon family guy. <laughs> Lois, freaking sweet. Uh, GTA 5 racing in the background, literally unwatchable. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know half the things you said, but uh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I hope you have a good night, though, otherwise. Alright. It has to be night. It has to be night. Okay, that's, that's some immersion. Uh, so let's burn out the sun. Looking your ass <laughs> I will. I'll do the best. I gotta, I gotta wait till night, because it won't open unless, you know, it's night. That's that's actually really nice attention to detail. So if you go... I wonder how many damn vampires there are in the game that I haven't known about because it wasn't night. <laughs> Walking around tombs. I don't know. I'm messing with you. It's a short attention span thing. All good. I got a killer... Co oh, no. I'm sorry. That sucks. Um, You're fighting for your life. I, I know that. I know that feeling. Um, I had a really nasty cold a few months ago. Well, I hope you get better. I figured you were messing with me because you said uh, Family Guy. I love Family Guy. Good show. I mean, it has its moments. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, oh, they're doing this again. And then other times it's like, oh, heck yeah, Peter and his shenanigans. Okay, so we're going to go hopefully contract vampirism. Part three. <laughs> Let's go, let's go. It's a long one. I don't have transformation, so that's one thing this character does not have. I don't have the, the nice little safety blanket of transforming into an animal and flying away. I know the vampire has like a, um, a shadow walk. They turn into shadows and they can fly. So if that is in the game, we'll have that. TikTok where they say all sorts of s clips on the side to make stuff watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I get what you mean now. Yeah, they're just trying to put, like, as much tags or as much, like, AI bait commentary to get get their thing to, um, you know, get viewed. And it works. I mean, they get millions of views on those. Um, doesn't really work on YouTube, though. <laughs> Most of those Reddit reader vids do that. Uh, it's hilarious. People could watch 
can't just watch anything. They need stimulation 24-7. Yeah, there was, like, a scientific study saying, like, why is why are most people, like, having attention span problems? It's like, well, because of media in general, the way we've changed cell phones and shit, the way TV is, most people have adapted to a specific way of, like, ingesting media. And it, it's kind of sad because if people had better attention spans back in my day... I don't mean to sound old, but <laughs> back in my day, you were happy to get that new book. Now, <laughs> you gotta have, like, I have to have a Twitch stream on in the background when I'm talking with my friends, when I'm offline, like, off streaming. I literally do. I don't know why. I've gotta have some, even if it's on the tiniest amount, I have to hear something very small in the background. I don't know what it is. Okay. Hurt me. Or be your just yeah unknown. Ow, my face! Oh, what did he say? Ow, go! Oh, oh, it's real! It's real! It's real! Seven days, Bruski. Seven days. It's real. Oh, that's so cool. That's kind of like the first time I became a vampire in Morrowind. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> I got gangbanged by a bunch of naked people in a crypt. This is... <laughs> no, literally, that's what happens in Morrowind. <laughs> you'll go into a crypt and you'll hear, like, this really horrible voice. And a bunch of naked people come out and they start punching you to death. <laughs> and it's like, you're now... You've contracted this disease. Good luck. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> what happened? That's basically what just happened. Okay, seven days. We have seven days. And and uh, it looks like you can only become a vampire or a werewolf, uh, each in tandem. Because uh, it, it basically threatened me. It said you will be a vampire unless you cure it. Which the only reason you would warn the player of that is because it is a choice that changes you. It's a choice that changes you. But there might be a cure after. But this character's a blood knight, so we're not going to cure it. Um, I'm going to wait out the clock. <laughs> Some of us have issues, like myself, for instance. I'm a, ve a veteran. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so let's... Let us... God, seven days. That's going to be a long time. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give or take. So, it's going to take a while. Can't really wait out the clock too much. So, we are going to go to different places. I haven't been to Arima. So, we're going to hop around. We're going to look at different places. But as we're traveling, the clock is going to speed up a bit. But there will be vampire content, I should hope. Oh. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I can't enter it. No, we can. That's so cool, though. So, does that mean the werewolf is in the game? Right now? So... From what I understand, don't get me wrong, um, the developer has already stated that werewolves, lycanthropy, is some sort of skill line. Now, it doesn't say lycanthropy on here. So the only thing I can think a werewolf would be is either corruption or thaumaturgy. But thaumaturgy is normally like alchemy, a little bit of alchemy, eldritch knowledge, stuff like that. So is this the werewolf tree? Because aromancy is air. Of course, some of these are inappropriately labeled. Like, arcane is actually biomancy. They haven't switched that out yet. So... Is one of these just a placeholder? <laughs> I don't know. This is clearly what it is. What if we can only just become a vampire but not get any skills? That would suck. Horse! Horse. Horse. Hello, horse. Oh, my. oh, yeah, I forgot how small I was. I was like, you're a big... Ho no, you're just... <laughs> I'm tiny. <laughs> I'm tiny. I need armor. Do you have armor? He sells mounts! A rot boar! Tusk rot boar. Small rot boar. Piggies! You have pigs! Pig! I want pig. Give me pig. Could I, um... My noble steed. My noble steed. Go! Go! 
Why are you making horse sounds? <laughs> nice. We know where to get mounts. Oh, this place is like Rome. Gross. <laughs> um, let's see. Thaumaturgy is a normal name for use of blood magic. Yeah, okay, so that, that also is kind of weird. <laughs> I like how the pig keeps running. And you press E to jump off. Okay, that's cool. That's I keep cool. the nail. I keep the nail. There's bread here. Mmm, bread. Hobbits like bread. Mm. What do you sell? Oh, of course. It is literally supposed to be Rome. Of course. Is there any armor? You want to have any armor for me? I've literally been running around without any armor. Why? What are you training for? Okay. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm stuck! No! <laughs> Could I leave? <laughs> he locked me in. <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> no, when did we save? <laughs> when did we save? I gotta close the game. <laughs> I think we gotta get become a vampire again. I, I I I think we just do. Oh God, the game is running in the background. Exit game. I should have known better to talk to some random guy. <laughs> Divine magic. Aha. Uh -huh. I had that issue once. I can't remember how I got out. I had to close. Yeah, that's what I had to do. <laughs> It locked itself in place, and I couldn't leave. I really hope we saved. I really hope we saved. Not, it's not a big deal. Yeah, okay, Arima. We're still in Arima, so we still have the vampire disease. Cool. Okay, so let's um, go somewhere else, because apparently these people like to stunlock you out of the game. And double check. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Already a day in. That's nice. Uh, let's go to Raven's Reach. Sounds kind of cool. Oh, no, that's a town. I mean, we could still take a look at it. You know, as long as these people don't stunlock me into oblivion. Ooh. This is cool. Cow. Cow. I want to ride a cow. They even mention riding cows, so they better let us, you know, buy cows and ride them. Hi there. I'm worried. <laughs> nope. Does anyone here sell anything? No? Hmm. Very cozy town. I'd live here. Nice old house somewhere over there. Oop. Okay. Uh, I was expecting to see, like, a shop or something, but there apparently wasn't a shop that we could use. If you just stand in the field, press space, does time advance in the world map? In the world map? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you're pressing space. Because time is perpetually moving. But when you press space, it goes even faster. White Brook Haven. Snow. Snow place. Oh! Oh, it's pretty. It's like something out of a painting. Oh my god. I like it here. For some reason I thought it paused when you were not moving in the world map. No, no. I would like it to do that, personally. Because it's annoying when you're trying to time events. I guess that's what the developer was saying. Like, you have to really plan out your adventure. 
Because the, the adventure is going to happen. It's just you can foresee the future. Your character can see the future. You're aware certain things are going to happen within that month. But getting there on time is the gaming arc. Still. That's a sex. Um, ooh, a book. Throw snowball. Well, now. Is that a spell? It is a spell. Uh, it says, throw a snowball. Deals 50. It's not very good, <laughs> but it's cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a long cooldown. Come on. For 15 damage? That's terrible. <laughs> For 15 damage? I mean, it's a free ranged ability, but. Oh, wow, is that a place I can go to? Oh, wait, no, those are just hill. I thought there was, like... I see the bones of a dragon, but... That's a big-ass dragon. I was thinking there was, like, an entire fortress up there, not realizing what I was actually looking at. Rocks. Man, I can jump far. Okay, I say I can jump far. Truth be told, my character's a lot smaller, so what I think is a far distance is probably just, you know, not. Are there any creatures here? Wow. Wow. Nice road. What is that? Is that a thing? No, it's a tree. Long jump is... <laughs> the long jump is human's two step. Yeah, that's the problem being a halfling. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, you, you did good. D don't tell them that it was actually not a very long distance. They're, they're fine. They're fine. They don't need to know. Hello. I could try to hit a raven out of the sky. Ah, uh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Is this actually ice? No, it looks like water. Yeah, it's water. It's not cold enough for ice. any enemies here? A really pretty place. I'd like to see some combat. I keep thinking there's like someone behind me. <laughs> Get some phasmophobia vibes here. There's a lot of birds in the sky though. Eh. Well, this house is empty. Damn it. Please be ice. No! It was not ice, it was mine too! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> We've been over this. There is no ice. <laughs> the cat Cheech is yelling for attention. <laughs> oh no. Cat watch. Betty rubs. Maybe some snack em. You must obey. You must obey. I don't think there's anything here. I think this entire area. It's just beautiful, and that's it. <clears throat> it's just beautiful. That's all it was. Two little gremlins, Cheech and Chong. Aha! Can I, like, sneak by this? No. Oh god, you get, like, stuck around that corner there. The hell? Interesting. Where 
Let's try to cross the river. I want to go to the Moonhorn Cliffs. Yes. This place looks cool and wild. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't have to do that, but I did. Boom. Is that an owl? Hey, it's one of the mounts you can get. Hey, buddy. Do you want to come with me? Do you want to come with me? Okay. okay. <gasps> what? Are you mine now? Are you mine now? Did I just claim you? No! <laughs> Did not. <laughs> Damn it. They just let us play with it. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Flying mount's kinda, kinda weird. Flying mount's kinda weird. <laughs> uh, how do I go down? Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm starting not to like flying mounts at all. <laughs> um. Uh, but you have to take him to the stable. How? How do I take him to the... Oh! <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Oh, he's trying to kill me. <laughs> Jerry, he's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me, Jerry. <laughs> oh, God, how do I go down? Okay. I think I got him to... We're not, we're not flying this. I can't. I can't. The control scheme is really bad. <laughs> ah! <laughs> they gotta work on that because it's very. I, I, I said like transforming into an animal was very. Um... <laughs> He's looking at me. Transforming into an animal was kind of clunky for some of the animals, some of them, but that takes the cake right there. <laughs> I've never been more terrified than riding an owl. I'm gonna save, because... God. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> it was terrifying. I had zero control over that animal. It was like, oh, yeah, I wanted to get an owl. Well, uh, now I know where they are, and uh, buyer beware. <laughs> You're in for a scare. <laughs> well, what is up here? Astral something observatory? Cool. It's like a place from Blade and Sorcery. books off the shelf here. No, no, shit. Like a bear claw? Are you serious? Okay, this room I can't even enter. Skill. Mad Strumner's Planetarium. Mad Astronomer? 
Summon a system of small plants that rotate around you for 30 seconds, damaging enemies they hit. Cool space magic. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really cool. how the menu screens it turns current scene and game into a sepia print. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Again, it gives me those Morrowind vibes because Morrowind would utilize um, kind of a parchment and ink kind of look. I don't know if there's like anybody here. <laughs> Got a free cool spell, but it's so long to go up there. I miss just flying up everywhere. There's nothing up here. There's nothing up here. <laughs> I could jump out the window. You're not going to. I just realized by flying up here, it's going to take me a while to get back down. This is a fact. Ow! Gotta learn how to take a fall. Did it say nine planets? I think it was nine planets. A system of small planets. So there's a blue one, a big yellow one, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight planets. Only eight. I wonder how much damage this spell does. It's pretty darn cool. It's killing my frames, though. <laughs> the game doesn't properly, like, dump memory after you use, like, particles and such, so... It's doing some damage. Bye. <laughs> I gotta blow up with this, is it? No. Normally, uh, that explosive comes with a machine nearby, but I don't know where the machine is. God. My frames. <laughs> it means the dev doesn't think Pluto, Pluto's a planet. <laughs> I don't think these are based on our planets. They're kind of glowing. <laughs> uh, I had a goblin attack me yesterday. 
Dude was a rocket man and a barrel of TNT and a small flame coming out the palm. He was jetpack. Yeah, yeah, the jetpack um, goblins. It's funny because most of the people I've watched play this game don't bother with magic. So they always play as like melee oriented characters. And that goblin single handedly messes them up. Single handedly ruins their dreams. Uh, oh, this place has some terrible frames. It's pretty, though. Oh, stream kind of like black screen there for a moment. I don't know what that was about. Oh my god. I'm gonna uh, unload the memory of this place. So let's go back to the overworld and come back. Killed my... I can't talk. Killed yours easy, and you're a one-hander. Well, then you're skilled. Let's pass some time. I like how you can see, like, the wind against the grass. It's kind of cool. Passing time. Might as well pass time if we're going to have to reload an area that I wanted to explore in the first place. Ah, look at that. Much better. Huh. Now let's save. Next time you're on the overworld, can you show me where the vamp is again? Yes. Yes, I will. Oh, can't hit him from there. There we go. <laughs> the tombstone, tombstone is so powerful. It's so powerful. I like it, but it's so friggin' strong. <laughs> I mean, maybe it should be strong. You're literally tossing a tombstone on an enemy. I think it does need a cooldown, though. Or at least a heavy, like, mana use. Here we go to venison. And this is how we hunt. Are you a blood knight? Are you a necromancer? Hunt with tombstones. Do it. I still need armor. I don't have armor. I very much like armor. <laughs> One of the moderators on Discord said they do not think lycanthropy is in the game yet. If it is, it's really hidden. Because, I mean, I didn't hear anything about the vampirism. At all. This is why I was like, I don't know if it's people saying what they think sh it should be, or what. It's clearly, clearly inspired by the Elder Scrolls, though. It's a sense of discovery, and that was so cool to find out it's real. It's not just, like, a hypothesis. It's like, yeah, oh, get beaten up, get bitten. <laughs> there you go. That's neat. It's like it's own little mini scripted event, too, because you run up to the guy, he kicks the shit out of you, and then he actually grabs you, bites you, and he leaves. You don't get to fight him afterwards. It's just like, yeah, enjoy your curse, you know? That's really cool. Bunny chicken. Bunny chicken. This place is cool. Also, I love, by the way, I love that I can, like, climb trees and shit. Well, you know, I was better at it. See, that's just so cool. <laughs> I've actually been wanting an RPG, like, medieval game, but with kind of, like, parkour capabilities. So this game definitely fits that, like, desire. <laughs> Let's go kill a slime the old-fashioned way. You know, with a magical, bloody sword that I shouldn't have. Yes. I'm fourth slime. Meet your end. 
Bah ha ha. There's like a hole in the base of that mountain. Oh, cool bees. It's been a while since I've seen a bee. Damn it. Damn it. He's really hard to hit. Where's he running to? Where are you running? God, he's fast. Come back. That's not a bee. <laughs> I thought there was a bee. <laughs> it's a pot. It's a frigging pot. Not just a pot, a frigging pot. Okay, it's coming around here. <laughs> Come on! I can't interact with it with spells. Oh shit, what have I done? Shit. Damn it! <laughs> okay, it crosses like right under here. So if I just save my stamina and I wait for it, I can grab it. I think. I think. Maybe. Or do I have to hit it? Let's try hitting it. Damn it! <laughs> what are you supposed to do with it? Uh... Okay, screw it, screw it, screw it. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, you're right. I do have time slow. <laughs> I have time magic. Come here. I can't reach it. Stamina, that's not good. Hit it with your pew pew. No, there's it, it moves too fast, and then half the time it goes right through it. Yeah, no, I can't hit it. What are you doing? Why is my character flinging their arms around? What are they doing? What? <laughs> I fixed myself. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. There's more than one too. There's more than one of those. Maybe you can't do anything with them. Maybe they just exist. Oh, you know what it is? You probably have to use a bone arrow. <clears throat> you probably have to use a bone arrow. It makes sense. I mean, they'd have you do something like that in The Legend of Zelda, so... <laughs> the skill bar bug? What skill bar bug? Skill bar's fine. Hi, friend. Wait, what did I do to my skill bar? Oh. Oh. I didn't even notice that. I hope it goes away. You know, when I leave. I don't want to live with that, you know, forever. <laughs> do you have to do some wood cutting to get rid of it? Has to be something up there, right? Come on. 
My stamina. God. Come on. This place gets really framey. It doesn't help that I'm using all the magic effects, but... I think it's the water. And then as you're using abilities and such, it's like adding to it. I guess there's nothing over here. Huh. I was kind of like hoping for something. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming a fix for that would be just to leave. I just hope it's not, like, a permanent thing, because that would suck. Ah. I mean, I can leave this area, and hopefully it'll be gone when I go to another place. I'll show you where the, um, the vampire was as well. It was the hills of Devonal. Devonal. Delvenal. Might as well go here and kill some things. Find from there. Yeah, it's it's basically the castle. Let's kill some people. Ah, okay, yeah. So leaving the area does refresh the um, the skill bar bug. did see was there like an actual like cave entrance to this place Ah, he kicked me. make like a laser sound when they hit stuff. Oh, there's a guy over there. Whoop. Ow! I'm surprised the fall didn't kill him. That was a big mistake. Nice. A little disappointed on what the dev says about multiplayer. I mean, he did say local is a possibility. It is a possibility, but it's not something they're working on at the moment. I did see the refresher note on that, so they're not... They didn't want to say, like, oh, no, no multiplayer at all, but possibility. 
And I understand. It's one person working on it. It's one person trying to get it to work. I would rather see the rest of the single-player game finished and then have co-op of some description. But even if the developer doesn't actually utilize it, this game is going to get, like, some sort of community multiplayer project. I have no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind that people are going to look at this and say, you know, I didn't actually see... Th <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't actually see this. But I came here as the druid. It was too dark. That's really messed up. I mean, people are going to want to play this multiplayer in many capacities, so... We just insta-kill them with a gravestone. This is where they burn people at the stake. Nice, nice. Very messed up. We don't really explore this graveyard too much. I just didn't really think there was anything in here. Probably isn't. Nah. There isn't. Is that a thing over there or is it just a rock? Can't tell. Doing remote play sucks. I, I still, like, I would love to see the perfect fusion of... Okay, that's nothing. Um, I would like to see how Valheim did multiplayer, where it saves your character and the world is separate. That would be cool for multiplayer, because then it means people can just take their character into your world and you can play together. Someone else can play the game... Even if they don't have it. Yeah, no, that is a good feature of it. It's just... There are limitations by a game-to-game -game basis with, you know, remote play. I mean, it opens the door for the game. I can still play with my friends online with this game. It's just... We're not going to get to, you know, have as much fun and freedom as we would if it was truly co-op. I can actually go down here and experience this area. We flew over it. But I would still love to see the game absolutely, like, you know, fleshed out and everything. And then they could worry about it. Because it's got a great architecture behind it. If he goes, you know, spending all his time working on multiplayer, we're going to have this, what we see now, unfinished. For like over a year and I don't want that I'd rather see the game mostly if not completely done this is one of those exceptions where you know I could wait I mean I said the same thing about Jadonia I was like yeah you know the developer wanted to pursue multiplayer and I would rather see the game done before they do it Ooh. Ooh. Get him. <laughs> He's just waiting for him. Oh. That feels so satisfying. <laughs> the bag! <laughs> Spells are not helping the frames. <laughs> but if I want something dead, <laughs> I can make it dead. 
Is that a loot goblin? No. Oh, it is a loot goblin. Oh, he didn't have much on him. Oh, shit. Tombstone is so powerful. Because it does the damage of the spell, but then it amplifies the physics of how it's falling. Because <laughs> it falls from the freaking sky, it just kills them. My god. Ah! days I uh, estimated between 13 and 14 because we got bit on the uh, the seventh so we're getting there we can even speed it up even more here I'm aware people don't want me to just sit around <laughs> we got a whole new skill tree we can explore yes I figured I'd in intermittently, like, you know, play around with some stuff. Actually, I'm going to refill my drink really quick, chat. So the clock will be ticking. So I'll be right back.
I'm back. Hello. Sorry about that. <laughs> I also figured I'd use the restroom while I was away. Uh, oh my god, really? It hasn't even passed? No! <laughs> you went to go smoke. Alright. Just found out you can sleep. You can sleep? How do you sleep? How does one sleep in this game? How do you do it? You have to build a bed? Is this something you have to do? Because I'll build a bed. At the stronghold or your camp tent, there's a bed. Okay, so you can only sleep in those places at the moment. Well, let's head back there. That'll speed things up, right? Instead of just doing it like this. Because <laughs> I thought I thought at least a day or two is going to pass by, but no. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't think I can go across that bridge, remember? I think that bridge is still buggy. Oh, the camp that you're going to explore. So if I go to Elder Glen, I can just sleep in Elder Glen. Because not every area has the um, actual campsite. Not yet, at least. How? Oh! Oh! One hour. 24 hours. Do I have my, my powers? No? We're gonna save, because I don't know if there's gonna be, like, some sort of event or something. Damn, sleeping is fast. Oh, wait, we got bit the day of, so... No! <laughs> wait. Soul Faring Night. That's right, we got events happening. Huh. I didn't go to a church recently, so... You said seven days! <laughs> you said seven days, game! Did it forget? Did it forget? Gold glowy? That's just this. Yeah, I don't 
I don't know if you can become a vampire uh, in the current... I can't hit it with that. I don't know why. Yeah, I think, like, getting the proc exists, but I don't think you can actually become a vampire. If, it, if it's been seven days... Wait a minute. We just time traveled again. <laughs> Hang on. Maybe it's because sleeping in the camp doesn't proc the event. Maybe that glitches it. Because we're, we're experiencing the time travel thing where we're back on day 12, but we were already at 15. So if this is the date in which we transform, then it has to be the time travel bug. It's not taking into account the time that actually passed. I'm just going to burn out the clock doing this. Because I would really like to see this being a possibility. Definitely. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, let me go. Wee. I got to get armor at some point. Yeah, I, when I made the character, I uh, didn't do the quest at the start that gives you some rags. And then I just went off on an adventure. And I didn't really visit that many towns. When I did visit a town, I kept forgetting about it. Not too weird that I don't have armor. I was just lazy. <laughs> I didn't apply myself. <laughs> so that I'm like dying to things. It's like I could probably survive half these hits if I had armor. <laughs> I just mismanaged the shit out of my character, that's all. <laughs> but I got some cool abilities. Okay. So this is the day. day of what would happen if I just go into the world is it going to happen live is it going to happen in the overworld I don't know is it going to happen tonight does it always have to happen at night I'm assuming the game will give me a confirmation when it happens. Oh, we're too trying to take over the planes. Yes. It means armor when you have vampirism. Yes, exactly. 
That's what I'm thinking. I loved Little Shop of Horrors. That was such a good movie. Also has one of the worst canonical uh, original endings of all movies of all time. <laughs> it was so bad that they kept using the alternate ending. <laughs> where it was a happy ending. Because the original ending was everyone gets eaten, everyone dies, and then the plant destroys the entire city. So, I haven't quite turned yet. You played in the musical in college. Oh, nice. A little bit of culture. Um, what was that? It's like a heartbeat. You heard that, right? I don't know what that was about. What was that? It's like a thud. My character going crazy? Or is it like signs I'm a turn? I wish there was like a status thing. Like it doesn't say like bitten. They allowed an actor to not have their full name in the playbill. I tried it out because it was a childhood dream. Always wanted to be Seymour. The fact that the playbill showed Seymour played by Seymour. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Good pun. Unintentional, purposeful pun. Do we have to, like, return to the vampire? What, what do we do? Every time I enter my skills, it does that. Is it because of the sword I have? No, that's just... It's just a weird thing. Hmm. I, I don't know. I want to see this vampirism thing work. We go back to the vampire and get bit again. I mean, given the glitchy nature of things. Seven days would be the night of day eight. Well, no, no, we got bit on the seventh, though. The night of day 17th. Really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That doesn't... How does... 15. 15. So it's the night of the 15th now. I was going to say, 17, that's like three extra days, <laughs> pretty much. Hmm. 
Just roam around for a bit. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I'm like expecting something to happen and I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm assuming there'll be some sort of like sound, maybe visual that happens. Maybe. Maybe the vampire will appear before me in a vision. I don't know. Or it will just say, by the way, you're a vampire now. Your dark power has woken up. Or something like that. He survived. He survived again. Kill all the trolls. Why is everything turning red? Oh, because warning's coming? Ow. <laughs> I'm looking for any sign. I don't know what's supposed to happen. I would hope. <laughs> I would hope that's the reason, but I don't know. If there was like some sort of status that you could keep track of, That'd be really nice. But there doesn't appear to be a status that you can keep track of. I mean, the most simple answer is it's not in the game at the moment. You can get bit and it will tell you you're infected, but then there's nothing. Which honestly seems like one of the biggest slaps in the face. <laughs> the fact that they left the vampire in, but the ability still is, you know, unobtainable. It's kind of nuts. I'm gonna get bit again, see what happens. Because, uh... It's still... Locked out. Unless there's something you're supposed to do, but it just said don't, you know... Either let it take hold or go to a priest. And we haven't gone to a priest, so it should just take control of me, right? Making our way back where it all began. Unless when we uh, glitched out the game and we loaded, it erased the status, which would suck. Which means I've been waiting for an entire week for nothing. Which is also a high possibility. I could try the sleeping thing again. I, I just wasn't aware, like, which is the problem. Like, what caused what to go wrong. isn't anything on this pathway. I wish there was like an old, like abandoned village outside here. It'd be very fitting. For my guinea pigs, so I don't waste my time. 
<laughs> I'm everyone's guinea pig right now. You ever wanted to be a vampire in a game like this? Guess what? <laughs> Maybe this is the way. Hurt me. Father, hurt me. Do it again. That's a different vampire. Ow! Ow! Ah! Ah! Oh! Backhanded me. Shaky throat. What's shaky throat? Only gave me the shaky throat. Ugh. Coffin. Oh, you know, I'm just coughing up blood now. Top of my blood sword. It didn't give me the message for vampirism again, so... <laughs> you might get some new watchers. Cool, cool. Um... Hmm. I don't... I don't know what this did for me. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> All he did was give me a new disease. If I die from shaky throat, do I become a vampire? Question mark. It's an affliction. Well, I mean, we might as well sleep again and find out. It might not be ticking down the seven days properly at all. It, it might just be that. It's like... It said seven days. And it doesn't appear to be registering seven days. So let's go all the way back to a camp. I mean, again, it's a high pros uh, prospect that it's not even in the game. No, de yeah, I know. There should be a debuff that lets you know if it's working or not. I mean, that first message said you've been afflicted with vampirism, so. But yet we haven't. I guess. I mean, it could also be that I shouldn't be trying to speed through that, but I want to know if it exists at this moment. Okay. Okay, shaky throat has been cured. Sleep another day. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, that was longer than seven days. <laughs> that was so much longer than seven days. <laughs> uh, there should be a, like, debuff somewhere. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, okay. Feed. Feed on the blood of your victim. Your vampiric blood makes the victim black out during the bite and immediately seals the bite wound when your teeth are removed. Hmm. Interesting. Cheer up, swing. Wreathe yourself in magical bats that carry you forwards. Night vision. Enhance your vision for the night or any dark area. Hey, it's kind of like what I suggested for the werewolf. Nice. Uh, shadow melt. Become one with the shadows, literally. Melt into the ground and gain increased movement speed and visibility. If you leave the shadows, you'll be forced to reveal yourself. Mist of the night to the form of magical mist for five seconds. So wait, where's the darkness spell that they showed? Can't be that one. I guess it's not a vampire skill, but it's still a really cool skill that I'd like to know about. Unless it's necromancy. I don't know. No. Because there was like a spell that like blots out the sky and shit. Okay, so we have access to vampirism now. Uh, and this, gonna get rid of that. 
All right. Uh, let's see if we can use it on an enemy. I know you can use it on, like, NPCs, but... Or at least I think you still can. I don't know for certain. Back cloud! Yeah. <laughs> I want to check out all these abilities. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it lets us know if we're in the day... If we're in the light or the darkness. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to do for us. Are we going to take damage in the light? certain oh you take stamina and mana damage in the light okay so you don't take health damage all right all right all right that's an interesting way of doing it yeah because we stand in the light we start hemorrhaging mana and okay that's neat okay i can't feed on him I think it has to be a unsuspecting victim. What am I, what am I doing? Alright, alright. Goblin mold. So let's go see if we can feed on some uh, random people. Mana debuff. Yeah, yeah. It drains, it drains mana and stamina in the light. Uh, let's go over to Kenmore there. I know there's some armor there. I want to use this feed ability. I don't actually know what the feed ability does. It says it just feeds on them. It has to be human. Yeah, it probably does. Bandits. Civilians. Random passerbys. Yeah, but if it was only to heal yourself, you should be able to use it in combat. That's the thing. I'm thinking it's more than that. It might be a way of getting experience and maybe compelling people. I don't know. Wait, what the hell? Why do I have two of those abilities? <laughs> I only put one on my bar, didn't I? Okay. I'll probably get in trouble if I use this just anywhere. Oh, I fu fudged up. <laughs> I don't know if I have to be sneaking. I don't know what's going to happen when I use it. Hi there, how you doing? <laughs> Interested. Oh, you get vampirism XP. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So it does give you experience towards vampire. Oh. She coughed on me. <laughs> she gave me shaky throat and defiance. <laughs> no. No. I don't want shaky throat. Come on. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Are there, how you doing? <laughs> They're not happy about that. You have 30 minutes remaining until you are blood starved. <laughs> So what does Bloodstarve do? Oh. Didn't work on you. I don't think you can do it to vendors. Would be kind of cool if you could make a vampire throw. Ugh. <laughs> I'm coughing up blood. Hi. Okay, I stopped gaining experience. Is it because I'm no longer... I think you can only do it every so often. I'm not sure. Uh, so it said something about blood starved. Like, 
I don't know what it means by blood starved. It doesn't tell me what blood starved is. But I mean, what it sounds like is you have no blood. It says druidism. It's vampire. It's a, it, it says druidism, but it's actually vampirism. I swear it's vampirism. <laughs> this is what druidism looks like. This is what vampirism looks like. Yeah, it, uh, it's telling me how long I have till I run out of blood, basically. Maybe it's just a really bad buff, a debuff, sorry, to have. And I've been avoiding it by drinking these people. I mean, it's not, I mean, I obviously would want to be drinking blood, but it's no longer giving me experience when I bite people, so I don't know if you have to be close to blood starve to get experience. I have no idea. Yeah, it just keeps going up. No experience. Also, did my appearance change at all? No red eyes? Oh, that would have been cool if I had glowing red eyes. That would have been so cool. I could have sworn there was like an armor vendor here. I think I'm mistaken. There are necklaces. You have for stock. I'd like the, um... Actually, let's get the mana regen. Why? Because I have the ability to lose my mana. In the daylight. Oh, wait. Oh, we're not taking any... Okay, okay. Blood Starved affects the light and shadow uh, meter. We're not taking any mana or stamina damage. Okay, that's what that does. That explains it. Calls it the Druid Tree. <laughs> yeah, it does call it the Druid Tree. <laughs> that is a bit weird. It's it's a small. I, I don't think I don't think it's a big bug. That's a that's a small bug. I mean, it's still showing me the abilities. I can still get the abilities if I get enough uh, experience. Oh, um. Oh, I was stuck in the town for a moment. That was bad. Okay, so let's see. Don't yeah, it doesn't add any like thing there. Let's go somewhere. Let's go back to Moonhorn. Why not? Now I don't know like I think I can just spend up a level up point. In the vampire tree, I don't think I need vampirism experience to do that. I think vampirism experience just affects all the skills. Also, it gave me another fight for reasons we'll never know. Interesting. So let's go kill some random things. Yeah, and it keeps letting me know. I have 46 minutes remaining until you're blood starved. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Oh, I didn't realize this was going to be that kind of bush. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. That should just kill him, right? Nope, we did not. Get him! Boom! back. <laughs> Just noticed that you're right, yeah. Maybe it's this area. Maybe it's just that area. <laughs> I didn't cut a tree down, did I? <laughs> let's go let's go to the fall area. If we're gonna level up, let's go to the fall area. We like the fall area. I love the fall area. Yeah, all I did was touch a bush. Let's go to the Priory, because there's bears there, and bears are probably worth a lot more experience than, you know, anything normal. <clears throat> let's go, let's go, let's go. 
I want to see some of these abilities for the vampire. Like, I did not get a chance to see the bat storm. I have no idea what that's going to look like. I know it's going to be cool. still sick. <laughs> My character is still sick. Okay, we got jump scared by a bear around here, so there is a bear nearby. Not in there. I don't know if the bear runs or not. I guess the bear was just a random thing. <laughs> worm! It's a worm! It's a bad worm. All calls out for people with software engineering experience to contact me and be taking on programmers. Ooh. Well, that'll definitely expedite a lot of stuff. And maybe people can push the idea of multiplayer in the future a little bit further. Be like, yeah, we got software engineers working on this as well. Should have walked without rhythm. You know, detract the worm. <laughs> I want to kill things, though. <laughs> I want to kill things. I want to get experience. I also got experience for jumping there. That was pretty nice. It's actually good to see that the developer is eager to want to hire help. Because that's something that Cube World never did. Like, Wally, he stayed alone with his what he kept calling his baby. And yeah, sure, Cube World was his baby, but his baby kind of starved because he didn't give it what it needed. And what it needed was help. <laughs> so this guy is like, yeah, uh, I'm, I want people to help me develop this. He's going to be fully in charge. He has an idea of where he's going from here, and that's awesome. But you kind of need to get more people on board to expedite and build it up even further. Don't mention cube worlds. <laughs> Some traumatized. Oh no. I mean, Wally did mention and show us that he is still working on Cube World recently. <laughs> He's calling it Cube World Omega. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh earlier this year he um he came out of nowhere and he was like Guess what I'm working on? Yes, yes, I know. He even commented about how, like, he's been so absent and all that. And he was showcasing all the new stuff he's added to the game. And he's built a randomization system for appearances and such. Um, he's Everything else he's mentioned recently, too, is in there. Uh, new biomes, new weapons, new skills, all that shit. And the thing he didn't answer was when. Because, again, that's Wally. He hasn't said when it's happening. So, I'm still gonna be waiting, I think, for a little bit. He didn't disappear. No, he's he's just been very hard to reach. You don't have access to the email you bought the game with? Oh, no. You'll have to buy it again. You know, when it eventually comes out again. No. Whoa, he can jump quick. I gotta be careful. 
There's a pig below me. Always a pig. Ooh. Let's try to aim for the body. Can I aim for the body, please? Oh, he's dragging a goblin. What the hell? Okay. Oh, there's another pig. Sorry, pig. Man, I really wish I hadn't contracted a cough from biting a civilian. You'd think a vampire would be immune to disease. Break this. Yeah. Get it. Wow. Okay, let's get a vampire ability. Uh, look. You know, I didn't try biting in the middle of combat. Maybe it does heal you if you're low. You're right, I should try that next time. <laughs> Bats that carry you forwards. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Wait, what were those abilities? How the heck did I get these? Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta figure out how this is used. Okay, wait. It does damage. Interesting. Clearly did damage. Uh Wreath yourself in magical bats that carry you forward. It's like a dash, but it does do damage. Try biting something if I get a chance. There's a bear and probably bandits over here. Kind of feels like that should have a like longer like carry time. No, I guess the bears are random. Oop, there's no one of these things. Hey. Uh, he just bit me. He bit me. Something else then. <sighs> you have blood. Can I drain your blood? Oh. Okay. It didn't heal me, <laughs> but it stunned him. It stunned him. Here's the bear. That does so much damage! Holy crap! Oh my god! Well, that ability's staying. That is amazing! <laughs> Not so much a uh, travel ability as it is a, uh, I can't, whoop, nope, nope, don't open up console. Wow, didn't know there was a console. console. Um, okay, so, removing skeleton. Oh, shit, I'm being attacked. Yeah, I want that easy access at all times. You're firing at me.
can't bite a corpse, can I? You can. Not that it really does anything. Oh god, the frames. Yeah, so vampires vampires can hit really hard. Fang. Yes, I made my character into a vampire. I got bit, and now I'm a vampire. Can I bite this guy? No, I cannot bite him. I'm slowly dying. <laughs> I bit somebody in town, and they made me sick. Frames are killing me. <laughs> Gotta leave this area. <laughs> Sleep for 24 hours? Yeah, I should probably do that. It's killing my character very slowly. I don't think we can sleep in that town. Unless we can use people's beds. Can we use people's beds? I wonder. I mean, I could barely find a bed. Maybe there is a bed? Well, maybe we can't. Do you have any beds? There's nobody in here. This would be the animal place, no doubt. Do you have a bed I can sleep in? Do you have a bed I can sleep in? No. It's in your crate. I'll take those. Hello? Beds? No beds? Probably should go to a camp. Hmm. 40 minutes till your blood start. Oh no. Yeah, okay. Let's go to a camp. Otherwise you're gonna hear my character coughing. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Ruining my playtime with the scoff, killing me softly with the scoff. <laughs> Again, I don't think a vampire should contract an illness. I mean, who thinks they're gonna go biting a civilian? Like, the civilian just turns as you're about to sink your fangs and goes, oh, and just get, you catch the plague from that. Come on. That's terrible. We missed out on the meteor shower. I, I don't think we get to see that. Yay, my shaky throat's been cured. Yeah, that was a while ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, we're healed. Wait, did I just cough? I swear, he better not have coughed. Better not have coughed. They better not have coughed. What does that look like in third person? Can I use it in third person? Yes. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That just obliterates enemies. They get, like, consumed. I love it. Come here. That is so cool. 
Hey, Christian, how you doing? You're at work. Aha. I hope you have a stress-free work night. Ooh, souls. Ugh. I don't even need my sword. I can just run into them. Or, you know, I can do that. It has a chance to miss, because if I get, like, moved by an attack, or I'm, like, in blocking terrain. <laughs> that goblin's defeated. Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme. I hope everyone's having a good night so far. You got the game as well, Fang? Nice, nice, nice. Welcome everyone to the stream. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Wait, that... God, you could ground up on the ground. Didn't die, though. What a champ. Yep, now he's dead. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's another goblin. Get him. Yeah! I almost feel like I don't need my other abilities at the moment. Because if I can land the bat swarm, they're dead. Ooh! Most of your time watching Garrett. Yay! Thank you. Wonder if you get longer distance if you level up that skill. Probably. That'd be kind of cool. I would like it to go a little bit further than it does, but I I see it very you know, it's a very useful skill because it gives you a dash as is. What are you firing at? It's firing at a bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no way he's trying to kill the birds. Um. It, it basically. Gives you a short-range dash, but if you hit something, it's dead. That wasn't my skeleton. I don't know where that came from. Oh, it came from here. Crunch. Crunch. Dropped honey. Thank you for the honey. What's in here? Nothing. I've never seen one of these camps inhabited, ever. The Gamer Dude Divides. I think I've mentioned before how awesome that name is. <laughs> like to see a different skill. The current back cloud stays short range for melee and combat. The new one is longer distance travel spell. Well, like I said, there is a um, there is some sort of like darkness cloud. I think it's mist of the night. So you transform into this black like darkness, and you can just zoom, and it moves really fast. Like it's really fast. I think that's what that one is. But I'm gonna work my way down there anyways. Now I don't know what. Shadow Meld does. I don't think I've seen that. Unless that is Shadow Meld, and it only works at night. But, if I remember correctly, the demo video showed... showed the person playing as a vampire during the day. I don't know for certain. I don't remember this being here. No. I guess
guess I missed that. You see, one of the problems is, is if you're on the ground and you use this ability, you sometimes get caught with the terrain. It's better to, like, jump and use it. That's what it feels like, at least. I don't think there's any other, like enemy camps around here. I think it's all just plains and forests. There are bandits in the middle, though. You can kill some bandits. Let me save the game. So hard to aim with all these frames. <laughs> they all dead? Yeah, I think they are. Yeah. yeah, there's definitely a memory leak. Very small memory leak. Thankfully, it's really easy to get out of an area to refresh it, but let's explore. Was there any other new places that I haven't seen? So we went to a lot of new stuff. We went to, I mean, there's nothing past here. It's the coast. I don't think there's anything down here yet. I think that's completely empty from the looks of it. This area was empty, but it was beautiful. We didn't go to Raven's Reach. It's like a town. I mean, maybe there's a quest we can pick up. I don't know. Possibly. Let's go. Let's go. I'll level this vampirism skill. Come on. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. It's right over there. Thought I was caught on something. If you mount up on a mount, do you actually move crap up? Uh, what am I talking about? Do you move faster? I must said crappier. <laughs> do you move crappier? <laughs> Wait, no, we did go to this place. That's right, we briefly went here. We were looking for a vendor and we didn't find one. I'm not getting any vampire skill anymore. Darn it. Cows. Moo. Moo. Ride the cow. Darn it. I go into the church. Oh, there's no one in the church. <laughs> Can't jump in the well. I don't want to bite the cow. <laughs> How can I do that? I'm not going to bite the cow. You probably can. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to bite the cow. The poor cow. Why would anyone do that? Only a real monster would do that. <laughs> Only a real monster would bite the cow. <laughs> it's 
go to the flatlands and kill some shit. <laughs> There's a cow. Maybe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I haven't shown you guys this. I did go here. Maybe we should go kill some dwarves. So there's a dwarven fortress here. And it is actual hell. Uh, and you'll see in a moment why. So I, I did go here uh, alone. Off camera. And I was blown away. And I mean that in every sense of what I just said. <laughs> you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. Russell, Russell. <laughs> uh, I may not be a monster, but it answers the various forms of the trolley problem. It always makes people look at me funny. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we overwrite. All right, so this is the dwarven fortress, and uh, at first you'll notice that there has been a siege, and I thought, yeah. All the dwarves are dead, but oh boy! Oh yeah, there is something up there. If I remember correctly, it's a, I think it's a dwarven lance. Oh shit! Shit! <laughs> I keep undershooting it. I could just climb the ladder like a civilized person, but I'm not civilized. <sighs> ah! Where am I? I'm clinging! Oh, we did it. We climbed. Oh, shit. Okay. Up, up. There we are. We made it. Okay. We're doing this weird thing. We're doing this. Ah, there it is. Dwarven boar spear. Nice. Okay. I, I don't know what's happening my character. <laughs> All right. We're doing that thing again. Uh, wee. Whoop. All right. So. We're climbing the floor. I was climbing the floor. You may be able to make out dwarves in the distance. Just a little. Just just a few dwarves. Ah, here we go. They're greeting me. <laughs> They're calling me home! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Those aren't just cosmetic. They will kill you. They will kill you. Show them the might of the vampire! This is a really bad place to look. <laughs> I thought the goblins were the main villains of this game. Ah! Well, at least I'm quick. Oh god! <laughs> Please! Gimli, call off your dogs of war! Ah, I want to go behind the pillar! I need stamina! Ah. Oh god. <laughs> really don't care if they hit their own people. That's what one of my friends said. <laughs> That's what Bane said. He's like, nah, nah dwar we dwarves don't care. <laughs> we don't care. Oh! <laughs> the second you pop your head. <laughs> ah! That was really shallow. What the hell? <laughs> I climb this. Ah, uh oh, uh oh, oh! God, they do so much damage. You can't hit me in here. I'm safe. It's made of wood. Everyone knows wood is impervious to explosions. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my! Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That's. Oh, there's still a dwarf over there. I really want to kill them. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's the dwarven place. Um, pretty pretty uh, pretty awful to visit. The cheese, because everyone knows vampires can eat cheese. Oh, I don't have potions on this character, do I? Damn. That's not good. <laughs> Paladin is something coming to the game eventually. Uh, yes, there is actually a, like, Paladin altar that you can build. That's supposed, I mean, when you're able to build it. And it's supposed to be like you trade in Divine Favor. So I'm guessing you get Divine Favor from killing undead. And stuff like that, you know, cleansing the profane. And... Uh, you know, as it seems to be, you would then send that over to the thing. Oh! Didn't know he was that close to me. Ah! Well, you're gonna explode. God, this place is horrible. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what this. Oh! <laughs> the Unforgiven have nothing on the dwarves. They have nothing on the dwarves. I don't care what kind of canonical stuff you try to say. The dwarves kick ass. <laughs> they are mean. <laughs> they are mean. Oh my god. There's nothing really past this point. It's like a... It kind of gives me like Minas Tirith vibes in here. But yeah, there's like a forge in there, but there's nothing in there. There's nothing in there. Half the city is unfinished, too, past this point. Um, there's just nothing. But it's cool looking. It's really cool. I want to see, like, a giant, like, cave troll or something. It'd be kind of cool. It's like some dwarves, like, fending off cave trolls. I don't know. Uh, we're going to save the game again. Always good practice to save before you leave. Why is your weapon glowing red? It is uh, a blood sword. It is a sword made from my own blood. It glitched out, and it was added permanently to my inventory. So, yeah, I have a magical bloody sword. I'll show you its stats. It's pretty darn good. Normally, you're supposed to be able to cast that spell. Oh, we should go here. There's so many people to murder. Normally, you're supposed to be able to cast that spell, and the sword will vanish, given time. So it's like a summon weapon spell out of your own blood. But something went really messy, and it stayed in my inventory when it wasn't supposed to. You can press U. I never like auto saves, quick saves. Those playing the Elder Scroll games, uh, I've always had bad experiences. Hi, I'm so small. Oh, this. We're not going to complete this, by the way, because that castle is enormous, and I can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fly. My druid was so spoiled. It'll take us forever. We're just going to kill as many things as possible to level up. Run, run, run. Can it be replicated? Um, I'm not sure. So, I'm going to show you the uh so the weapon does 100 damage with a below average speed because it's a two-hander. So it's easily one of the strongest weapons in the game. And it's supposed to be, like I said, a skill. It is a... Um... <laughs> Blood magic. Uh, Ikarian blade. Ikorian blade. Uh, so it's supposed to last for 35 seconds. Well, it is forbidden. <laughs> These are forbidden spells. <laughs> I'm guessing because you can get in trouble using them in town. That makes sense. Um, it's supposed to last for 35 seconds. It uh, never went away. I cast it. It dropped out of my hands. And then it, it just, like, was in my inventory just sitting there. Um, for reasons I'll never know. Uh, so I'm happy to have it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty neat bug. I missed. You got eaten. <laughs> It'd be cool if there was like an animation of you just biting him and slashing him when you did that. It'd be kind of neat. Ow! That was very rude. There we go. Okay. Let's 
free him. Thank you. Thank you. I wonder if the damage goes up the more you cast it. Uh, no, because it, it summons an item. The item has a base damage. But I think it can utilize the greatsword talents. But I don't have any greatsword talents, so... If you did have greatsword talents, try becoming a blood magic user and see if that works. <laughs> Play ball! Oh, what a mess. There's some coal. Nice. Might as well get some coal. Very different perspective when you can't just fly and dive bomb people. I do love how the game really changes based on your own uh, decisions. That's the last time I leave the city gates. That's the last time I leave the city gates. My old town is as clean as an elven horse. As a kid, I used to think Winthrop was talking about an elven horse, but I realize arse means butt. No one has any idea what I'm talking about. It's fine. <laughs> it's a Baldur's Gate reference. Hold oh, no, the Bat sands. Blood mage. First fang. Young became a vampire like an hour ago. Yes. I didn't know the vampire was in the game at the moment. <laughs> we discovered it. <laughs> Gamer dude was like, I want to know too. So it starts looking through the Discord. Got some answers that... Ah! 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 <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> you will die for that. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> They did some searching in the discords, the official discord for this game, and uh, people were talking about it like it was common knowledge. So yeah, uh, we discovered together that it is in fact real. Okay. I got one of them. Bye. Get him. Get him. Oh, he shot him. Where are you going? Come back here! Stop running away! Stop! I command you! Come back! <laughs> what a mess! What have I done? <laughs> oh, that's so good. I have become Gerdo Gamers Cortana. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> You're like, hey, hang on, let me see what I can pull up. <laughs> Here's what I found. Effectively. Oh, you can make a killing off the weapons in this village. I think this really just... This, like, crates full of weapons it only exists to kind of, like, give the players some more ideas of what they can wield. But I think when the game is out of early access, you will not find a crate like this anywhere in the game. <laughs> dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of weapons. That scream through the air, yeah. Uh, I'll see you later, everyone. Enjoy your night out. Enjoy your stream. Thank you, Fang. Thank you. I hope you have a good night. Yeah, see that, like, stall was blocking the shot, so I wasn't able to do much. God, the game is getting very framey again. I think it's the blood spells. Like, they create so much stuff. It's very, like, it doesn't dump the memory. Look at that. It looks a little better for you guys than it does for me, but it's, it's like, stuttery. So whenever I use the three ability, it creates so much gore on screen. Come here. Dead. <laughs> I like that you can jump off people. It's pretty cool. I hear somebody. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Stop going back to church. No, you should die. Oh, I keep missing. He's dead. Okay, we're gonna um, reload the area because that is very hard to 
focus. You would prefer being compared to Clippy. Um, no, not Clippy. It looks like you're trying to assemble a nuclear bomb. Can I help? <laughs> no, Clippy! Go away! <laughs> You're gonna play some of the bloodline. Oh Fang, if you wanna know where to become a vampire, if you don't if you don't know, if you didn't see it, uh I can tell ya. I can tell ya. If you're interested in becoming a member of the darkness. Unless you just wanna find it on your own steam. It's up to you. I know exactly what the frame loss problem is. Particle effects. Yeah, it has to be particles. Because when I when I cast the viscera spell, it causes some immense problems. It seems like it's that that it's the one. And I hate to get rid of the spell because it's so powerful. But see, I haven't used it yet. Everything's fine. Oh, we didn't get him. I think he's still alive. Is he? Huh? Where did he go? Did I, like, send him into orbit? <laughs> I've had that happen before. I use a spell, and then all of a sudden a guy will go, Ah! <laughs> oh, nope, there he is. Really? Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. See, it's, it's hard to land. It's balanced for how much power it has because it's hard to land. Oh my god, just die. That was dead on him. He should be dead. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna eat him with the bats. We're gonna do it. It didn't work. He's immune. <laughs> He's immune. Do I have to have the weapon out for it to work? No, because we were doing it before. Oh fine, just tombstone him. Yep, he's broken. See, so you've been bitten by a vampire. Would you like to cure it or continue your affliction? Effectively. I say no. <laughs> this character's too crazy with it. I'm making a run for it. Here I go. Do 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 do. Turn off the Thank you. Do, 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 do. Ah! <laughs> Cursed Windows add on. <sighs> you somehow lived. Well, he died that time to the bats. Thought I heard somebody. <laughs> I thought they were sneaking behind me, I did. It's me being Clippy. Yes, good Clippy impersonation. I learned to hate that thing when I was younger because, like, I didn't hate him at first. I thought it was interesting. But then I started to hate it because I'd be trying to load a game from a uh, CD and Clippy would jump in the way of shit and start spouting this nonsense about programs. And it was like, dude, I just want to play some SimCity. <laughs> and I can't do that if you keep interrupting the process. Because, you know, computers were terrible back then. So, <laughs> finally we learned how to turn him off. And he's like, are you sure you really want to turn me? It's like, yes, die. <laughs> you made yourself the enemy. <laughs> it's really sad, actually. But it had to be done. I love Clippy as my first introduction to AI. He wasn't real AI, though. He was a, a program that was intended to react to how you were, you know, working on the computer. It's not real AI. He just had dozen. He's like a story mode game. He has like a dozen different endings. <laughs> Clippy could never do anything out of the blue. He could never think for himself. He always would react exactly the way he was programmed to react. Thank you. Of course, sometimes, like I said, he got in your way. Like, he would actually stall a program, which was irritating. 
because Clippy would take priority over whatever you were doing to tell you that something was wrong with your computer, even though it wasn't. <laughs> Clippy, come on, man! Trying to download 12 megabytes. I know it's huge, but come on. <laughs> Are you playing this game, <laughs> Diablo 2? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to. I have to do something in the background, so I can't allow you to download the game. No! <laughs> Clippy. <laughs> I know somebody out there has like a bootleg Clippy for Windows, like, 10 somewhere. They've brought him back into this world. Nice. You know, if it wasn't for, like, some of the frame drops, the, the combat is insanely good. Like, I love it. I love the sword play. I love the physics hits. It feels really meaty when you hit somebody. The spells, they all pop. They all just work at the right time. The screaming is just so beautiful. Case in point! Case in point! That freaking Doppler! Was that, was that like what, what they call a Doppler sound? What? <laughs> that was great. That was so good. Oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> the Doppler shift, yeah, that's what it was. It's just like, what? <laughs> Because he went through me, the player character, past the camera, so the sound had to change. Oh, God. Come here. Come at me. Oh, wait. Wait. Hang on. Say hello to your dead friend. <laughs> Boom. Wow, you survived that? Spear! <laughs> okay, yeah. I think, yeah, Blood Magic exclusively has problems with, with this, because... Every blood magic spell, even the frickin' sword, it's like so many particles are coming off these things. And they're so beautiful. I like them, but it's like slowly draining the resources of the game. And it comes to a crawl. So we haven't even used the, th the three abilities, so it's just, in general, any blood magic spell. Except for that one. That one doesn't really do much. The bats don't drain it that much, which is surprising. We've been using the bat thing almost exclusively, but it's whenever we use the red stuff. Yeah. Wow. Can you turn off the particle effects? I don't think there's a way. I mean, I could probably turn down shaders and stuff like that. I found out it doesn't matter what I'm running it on, really. I mean, these two, whatever, but... Um... See, I don't know if particles are shaders. No, it's still running like... Oh, actually, it's running worse. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> and it was that time he knew. He was really fudged. <laughs> really fudged. <laughs> Uh, so it's not the shader. Um, I could run it on Ultra as well. It doesn't really matter, but... Post pro visual effects. That... No, it's, it's not really a difference at all. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, no, it, it still feels like it's, um... I don't think it would matter. <laughs> I could turn it up even more. <laughs> I could turn it up more. My computer could definitely handle this game on Ultra. It's just the... Like, me and several other people have been noticing this frame loss... It is, the, it is the particles. It is the particles. It's really upsetting. I missed. <laughs> I'm 
so sorry. No, oh, come here. Slow motion. Come at me. I missed. Can I, like, attack him with this? I know I can use it, but... I missed. We're gonna try to get a third-person kill. We ripped him apart. <laughs> that was awesome. If I put the game in normal resolution full screen, it adds black bars to the sides of my monitor. That's weird. You can't put it in full screen mode on your normal resolution. I... Uh, yeah, I, I think that probably has to do with what kind of resolution you have. Ow! He did. He did. Let's free the hostages. He free! Yay, we did it! We got experience. We only got 15 experience from doing that. Okay, so. I'm gonna leave that area. <laughs> I mean, I think this character is going to generate frame loss no matter what I do. Because you notice on the druid, we don't get nearly as bad frames. And it has to be all those particles. It has to be those. And then some people said some areas are more prone to it. I mean, we saw at the falls, the uh, owl area, um, that area seems to just reek when it comes to maintaining its frames. People are saying I think the lake and some of the other like fields are a lot better. 1920 by 1080. Really, that's what I use. Um I don't know why you're getting black bars along the screen. That is weird. Hmm. I mean again the game is, you know, early access, so. There's probably something it's doing that it could be doing better, and the developer will be working on that. But it's actually good news to hear that they're going to be hiring people, so definitely can fix... Oh, 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 this thing. This thing is awesome. You find the gears, you put them in, and it will start spitting out ores. Gotcha, 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 vanished. That totally happened. I want to get another vampire level, damn it. Big boy. Oh, we almost killed him. Did 550 damage there.
More goblins. There are more goblins. Full screen window works. Yeah, I don't know what, which is better for this game uh, to run at. That's another thing that could also be causing a lot of problems. I have it on windowed full screen. Sometimes some games will work better on windowed. Others will work better on full screen and windowed full screen. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's a goblin in the wall. Yep, there was a goblin in the wall. Hi there, how you doing? Cloud should deal the damage, not just like running into them. So that way, if you miss the initial hit, it still like causes them immense pain. Just a thought. Oh, shit. next to you. 14 minutes before your blood starved. No! Well, good thing it's nighttime. That's right, I can just bite somebody here. Come on. Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like, huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I can't do it again. You already fed on this enemy. Sorry, I got greedy. More, more are coming. Yep, there they are. Survive only get blown up by that guy. Wonder if your issues is you have dual monitors. I mean, I have them too. I, I don't know. That's a very strange issue. Yeah, I gotta heal myself. Not easy after I've already killed everyone. Oh no. I didn't buy potions. I should go out and buy potions. I really should. I hear it. Aha! Heal me! Oh, I missed. Heal me! I missed. This time I won't miss. Heal your master once more! <laughs> oh! They're really grabbing me. stamina. Shoot. Shoot. I'm also curious, is the vampire, like, dash also dealing damage based on our stamina? Because it doesn't say it has, like, a damage number associated with it. Um, but it's dealing a terrific amount of damage. Da damaged? Yeah, damage. <laughs> See, it says power zero. Well, actually, everything says power zero. Hmm. Is it based on our weapon? Is it based on our strength stat? What is it based on? Is there something that it's based on? I don't know. Because it'd be kind of cool to specialize in whatever is giving it its damage. Let's 
let's explore this little area over here. so powerful. Again, I almost don't want to use it, but <laughs> this character, I guess I'm perfectly fine using it. 14 minutes till your blood starved. Oh no. What is that red thing over there? Is there an event going on? No. Yeah, Molten Crab. What the hell is that red thing? You see that? I... I must know. Gotta know. Get out, get out of the water! <laughs> get out of the water! Get out of the water! Who's screaming? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> I don't want to be here. <laughs> I can't get out of the water. <laughs> Maybe I can climb the rock. Let me out. Let me out. Lost spirits! I'm the one who's lost! <laughs> I just wanted to see what the red thing was. What is that red thing? <laughs> what is that? I must know. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're safe. No, we're not. Why? Why? <laughs> Why are you having trouble getting out of the water? Come on, this is as shallow as it gets. Oh my god. <laughs> What is your problem? Get out of the water. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Who are you? No, don't go back in the water. The frames have caught up with me. Nope. It's a skeleton. Well, shite? What? Who? Huh? Quinn? Wait. Wait. Why am I back on here? I thought I was heading off. Oh, it's over there. I thought I was heading the right way. I really did. I, I was trying that. It didn't work. I was, like, literally, like, glued to the water. I think what happened is my character thought they were climbing inside the water? question mark as if it were terrain and then somewhere along the lines they forgot what the hell they were doing also oh, there's the red thing where'd it go is that it it's not glowing anymore huh i guess it is that thing the hell that was weird. I thought it was something different. I know, it was just the uh, engine that we were looking at. For reasons. Yeah, yeah, it glows red when you're really far away. That's cool. We're almost level 9. Morning, Campbell. How you doing? I hope you're having a good one. We're just trying to level our vampire up. Um, where's Theo? So we can turn in a quest. Ah, at the stronghold. Okay, we can totally go to back to the stronghold and just turn that in really fast. Visual glitch created by the engine. You activated it like a fire glow. Yes, that's apparently what it was. Who are you, Bunno Overlord? My character is a Blood Knight Vampire. 
Literally discovered vampirism on the stream today. Did not think it was in the game at the moment, but it is. So you can become a vampire. It's pretty darn cool. Will they get upset if I use my bat thing? Yeah, I don't care. Oh, I can't use it yet. Hang on. Whoop! <laughs> nope, she didn't freak out or anything. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Ah! <laughs> The most powerful enemy of all, the tutorial screen. But yeah, you can basically just, uh... Oh god, I'm becoming blood-starved. Thirsty! I can't use it on you. I'm too short. <laughs> I gotta get armor. I gotta get armor. Hmm. About the coal job. There we go. Yay, 50 XP. That was not worth coming back here for. It really wasn't. Woo! I mean, we could do the hat job too. He's gonna ask us about his about the stupid hat. Okay. Yeah, let me get your hat. Hey. Damn it! Nope. I was actually climbing. Got it. Wait, did we? We didn't. <laughs> Halfling is dead. <laughs> Here's your hat. I don't want the hat. <laughs> What's up? Hey there, how you doing? There's a high chance these people will treat you differently and not get upset about things you do. That's true. I mean, I am basically the bloodline of their gods, so they shouldn't get upset no matter what. But everyone else in the world, they'll freak out, I bet. <laughs> Something around there. Is this a Steam game? Yes. Yes. It's called The Bloodline. It's heavily early access at the moment, so be forewarned about that. Um, but it is really fun. Really crazy. Released two days ago. Yes. Yes. Very new release. Um, so... Why did I leave? Oh, that's right. We want to get more experience. We need more experience. I want to level up. I want to get more vampire abilities. They're really fun. You're going to try it on the Steam Deck? Maybe I'll wait a little while. Yeah, Steam Deck's always like... A big what if. Because you don't know which games are going to be optimized enough for it. This game has some optimization issues, but it is really fun. It is really fun. Um, and I love where it's going. <laughs> I just squished him. <laughs> I squished him. I did it. <laughs> Let's get some pine. Whoops. All right, there's goblins here. Gonna explode a bit. Rooster, chicken. Come at me. <laughs> One lowly goblin. Do you really think you can fight me? Crush. Get him. My attacks are so very powerful. Wah! Ugh! Anyone still alive? No. <laughs> it's just a big bloody tree. <laughs> just a huge bloody tree. Seven minutes till your blood starved. No! We'll get it again. We'll feed on a bunch of villagers. Steam Deck runs Cyberpunk Max settings without any issues, but a game from 2014 is the worst compatibility ever. So there's not a lot going on. Yeah. That's how it is. And it's honestly, compatibility issues is the only reason I never bothered getting a Steam Deck. Was I knew that a good deal of my library of games 
could not run on it for one reason or another. I bite you. Nine minutes till blood start. <gasps> Is that your skeleton, bandits? <laughs> I like how they were just... They decided to help out the skeleton for reasons I won't know. Oh, you're still alive. Ow. He survived. What a waste. What a waste. Yeah, die. Okay, bandits were defeated. Nice. Mmm, food. We can eat some of that food. And again, I do, in fact... Oh, you can eat the bread, but it doesn't tell you how much it heals. I didn't actually know you could eat it. That was on accident. Okay, okay. We are going to have to head to a village, though, for a variety of reasons. But among chiefly them... It... I said that completely wrong. We need potions. We need potions. Random stump. Stump. Stumpus. Stumpy. I thought that was something I could loot. I was wrong. Okay, let's go do that now. <laughs> let's get potions so that way when we're low on health, we don't have to worry. Ever. And maybe we can pick up some armor along the way. So, I think... Which town has it? Is it Elder Glen? I think Elder Glen has all the uh, armor and pots we'll ever need. Maybe. Unless I'm mixing up my towns again. Don't you make potions? You can! I don't really have the patience for it right now. <laughs> With how early access the game is in this current state, I don't really feel like going through all that. I really don't. Because if there's something wrong with the potions, I'm going to be rather pissed off. Um, you are not the person I'm looking for. Yeah, we know we can get leather armor in here. Hello there. You have in stock. Leather armor. A hood. Yes. Sure, I'll take all that. Okay. Finally! We have good armor! Yes! Cool! Awesome! I have no pants! <laughs> I'm cold! <laughs> I am, I'm gonna rob you now! <laughs> you didn't give me pants! <laughs> okay, now let's find potions. Uh, the person that has potions, was it... No, I think this was an inn? Was this an inn? No, 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 no. This is not an inn. Yeah. There you are. And the only potion in the game that currently heals, because everything else doesn't. You know, I didn't realize you could just hold down the button. That's the sound of many merry elves coming to beat the ever-living Christ out of you in your sleep. <laughs> you better lock your doors. <laughs> oh god, they're coming. Oh, they're coming. Okay. potion system. No, no, I, I'm not saying like it's a bad system. I'm just... I don't want to go near the beggar. If I go near the beggar, I'm going to get a disease again. But I also have to feed. I have to feed. I hunger. I might get a disease if I hunger. This is a problem. Don't mind me. Oh, nope. Sorry. Uh, ooh, uh, that's embarrassing. Uh, yeah, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Just giving him a hug, it's fine. Oh, what's that? You're grieving? Grieving? You're grieving? Yoink! <laughs> I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Now, I think in the full release of this game, 
you know, if somebody can see you, you're in trouble. Because, you know, you literally just bit into somebody's neck and they'll be like, Vampire! And they'll kill you. But for now, they don't care. I mean, you're here. Nice hat. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> I wonder how you get a discount. Discount? <laughs> On the potion? I don't know. Ow! So we'll have 55 minutes before we're blood starved again. That's very good. I'm gonna save. Because I do not want to die and have to do everything I just did over again. I shouldn't use that in town, because people are gonna know. <laughs> oh, he did have a disc. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Shoot. Also, I did see your comment, Campbell, about the um, Rog ally. Don't know what that is. I mean, I'm not familiar with, like, consoles that utilize the Steam shop, really. Again, I, I didn't even bother getting into that stuff myself. Um, are there any events happening? Molten Crag. I mean, I don't know if we're going to make it in time, but we could try. What's the event exactly? It's Goblin Horde. Evil Goblin Horde, mind you. Not the good Goblin Horde, not the friendly Goblin Horde. The evil Goblin Horde. I don't think we're going to make it, because our character's going to want to utilize the... Um... There we go. They are trying to use the road there, which was going to be slower. But I think it's just so far away. This day is going to be done. No, no, maybe we can make it. You guys haven't seen the Molten Crag yet? Or maybe you have. I streamed it, right? I totally streamed it. I had to have. It's where you get the fire tornado. It looks interesting, but it's really empty. Okay, something's dying over there. Oh yeah, here's the Goblin Horde. Nice. Oh no. Get him, Bones. Whoop, whoop. Nice. That wouldn't save you. Oh, shit! <laughs> he just tried to jump at me. No thank you. Not gonna happen. Almost to level 9. We get a new ability after this. you're gonna get next i'm gonna get the um shadow skill that the uh vampire has okay i'll look at it in a moment eaten nope wrong book this one uh shadow melt that looks cool i have no idea what it's gonna do I don't think that that got shown at all. I think that was it for the Goblin Horde. There are other enemies in this zone. Not many of them, though. There's a few cultists over there. There's also a fire tornado skill we can learn. Um... That area seems kind of pointless. I don't know what was going on there. Honestly, I don't care about the fire tornado. But we'll probably kill some of the uh, cult members. Uh, 
<laughs> Just remembered I don't have the ability to turn into animals. Nice sword. Ooh. I don't think there's any other guys in here. There might be one or two. Yep, there's one. Ripped him apart. Yeah, that's the tornado skill over there. Did I even explore this entire thing as my druid? I know we flew around a lot, but... I don't know if we actually went everywhere. No, that seems familiar. Yeah, there was nothing up here. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall. I know there's like an entire village of ghosts. You can go pick on them. stamina back, though. I don't know if we can make that jump across. We should go back the way we came. Let's get our stamina back. Alright. Fifty-one minutes or fifty minutes. <laughs> Again, having an actual like icon with a debuff timer would be much more helpful than reminding me in the uh, in-game chat that there's like time left. Because they put a lot of other notes in there, so it kind of takes up valuable real estate when other stuff is happening. Like you know, you hear a click somewhere and you think you may have opened a secret door. I can't see that if I'm being reminded that my character's getting thirsty. I know the developer did say they were working on a buff debuff timer system. And there's a minor version of it that exists for some abilities and some effects. You'll see it in the upper right. Unfortunately, you also have all your quests there. So I feel it needs to go like underneath your health bar, like a tiny little icon that lets you know exactly what's happening. 49 minutes till your blood start. Oh no. So thirsty. <laughs> God. Can a skeleton bleed? Answer is yes. They can. A ghostly skeleton, mind you. He liked that. He was happy. He went for a ride. Uh, donate. Oh! <laughs> it will now test your metal. What do you mean? Blood rain? Oh, it tries to kill you. That's why my health was draining. What is blood rain? I didn't even know that was a thing I could do. I was just like, oh yeah, this is a blood pool. And then I did the thing and it's like, oh, you got a spell. What am I doing? Wrong, wrong menu. <gasps> no, no, please. I want to test this ability on you. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> I don't kill you. I'll test it on your friends. Your friends will know true pain. I want one of those ghost weapons. Can we please get, like, ghost craft stuff? I know it's, like, a cheesy, like, transparent effect, 
but I want Ghostcraft weaponry, please. <laughs> Give us those. Give it to us. Um, okay, Blood Rain. Well, where is this Blood Rain? Minor damage and weakens enemies. Honestly, the skeleton friend doesn't do a lot of damage. He's silly, but he doesn't do a lot. Now I'm a true blood knight. I can summon blood from the heavens! Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's... Loud and insane. That's insane, though. It's doing, like, scaling damage per second. Look at that. It keeps going up. Oh, God, that's strong. That is insane. Does it ever end? It does end. Wow. Killed my frames there a little bit, but... And if you hit him with this, it's just extra DPS. Oh, that's cool. And it sounds like I'm in a shower. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't think it keeps going up. It just damaged fast enough. It's counting up the full amount it did. I don't know. Is it? Was it like? Was it doing like one or two damage a second, or was it? Well, I mean, I guess we can tell by watching their health bar closer. But okay, let's watch this guy's health bar. Because if it's draining by that amount per second, then it is going up. But if it's damage tracks. can't see him. God damn it, I accidentally cast an ability. Okay, hang on. Let's go somewhere a little bit more gentle on the eyes. Also, the frames were killing me. I misclicked. I hit the um, tombstone thing on accident. My mouse. The mouse has, like, buttons on it. Um, we did the event, though. That was kind of cool. Oh, they're still there. Um, well, actually, if we refresh it, the frames won't be bad. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna do the time slow so we can actually see it. No. 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 It's gone. <gasps> no. It took it from me. You can't take it from me. Why did it take it from me? That's my spell. Skeletons only have 500 hit points. When you get to 123 per tick, that would be five ticks. That's true. But why did it take the spell away? Why did it do that? Give me. Give it to me. Give me my magic back. Ah! Got the spell. I don't know why it took the spell away. Do we fight the skeletons or do we fight the goblins? I guess either or doesn't really matter much. 390. It's doing two damage a second. You're right, yeah. Yeah, it isn't increasing. It's only doing two a second of tracking it. Okay. I mean, but the thing is, it's still doing it two a second to everything in a large area. It's not as good as I thought, but it is decent. It's decent. It is guaranteed damage. So if you do poison or bleeding, or, you know, this spell, or I can mess up, at least you have some, like, buffer damage happening. Uh, it's just a cool badass effect. It starts raining blood. Drain your life. 
I eat you. <laughs> it's an amazing skill. Yeah, it's not as powerful as I thought, but it's definitely very useful. Because it's like, if you have a large group of enemies, you can guarantee they're taking damage. And combined with other dot damage, they're toast. Especially if you CC them. If you stop them from moving, they're taking that damage no matter what. And you can focus on other targets that are not CC'd. Or you could just use the tombstone, which pretty much insta-kills most things in the game. <laughs> Goodbye! Yes. Your power is mine. Oh, we're level 9. I didn't realize. You know what time it is. Here we go. Do a little bit of both health and mana. Shadow meld. Okay, I have no idea what shadow meld is going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. 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 Okay, so it's kind of like the birds. It's very hard to control, but it doesn't seem like the birds where you can do anything like that. Oh. But it lets you move really fast. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god, he just bounced off the mountain. Um, come on to the shadows, melt to the ground, increase, increase your movement speed and invisibility. If you leave the shadows, if you leave the shadows, we can read the full thing here, you'll be forced to reveal yourself. Okay, so it's basically crazy mobility in the darkness. And enemies can't turn. Long live. Oh, long live? No, long drive. Long line drive deep down left field. God damn it, I would be bad at being an announcer. It's out of here. Yes, gone. Gone. Totally gone. Can I climb with this? No. So it has limitations. Now I'd imagine in a dungeon this would be insanely powerful. Look how fast we can move. I think I want to continue until I get the uh, level 10th ability. The last vampire ability. Well, okay, not the last vampire ability. We still got night vision, but night vision, we know what night vision will do. I will get it eventually. I just don't think it's as important as getting our shadow flying ability. So vampires currently only have really just utility stuff, but this dash is insanely powerful, so I mean, despite utility, they hit like a truck. They hit like a truck, which is awesome. Now, I would think that the developer is going to add more abilities down the line, but I'm I'm pretty thankful they added this in, you know, in early access. It's kind of cool to see. <laughs> I could just watch them die slowly. Do you know where I am? They have an idea of where I'm at. They don't know exactly. That's funny. Hoping that Blood Rain spell doesn't vanish. Oh, 
What is that? I don't know what I just opened up, but Caps Lock does that. Interesting. Can you exit the mode? Uh, yes, by pressing E. It's just like the animal transformations. You, um, you exit it by pressing E. Just go to the Halloween lands. What's Velocia? Hang on. I haven't seen that place. We never went here, I don't think. Let's take a look at a new town. Or city, even. We haven't used those before. The, um, caps lock thing? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's like, uh, Venice. Actually, it's more like Greece. I just noticed the uh, archways and shit. Yeah, definitely Greece. Definitely Greece. Can we put like statues in our properties later? That'd be kind of cool. What do you have? They have their own weapons. Well, that's neat. Oh, we can get a skirt, finally. Hmm. I mean, those are probably better than what I have. Caps Lock is another hot bar. Ah, okay, okay. Did not know that. That's actually pretty useful. We can sell our old hmm. arm guard. It's not worth that much. Take all those, please. Yes. I want those. <laughs> I don't know what I'll use them for, but I need them. Okay. We're pretty badass. Does this, this is my shop now. My shop now! <laughs> it's not my shop. Oh, I can't talk to him. Get out of my way! Don't cough on me! No! <laughs> they coughed on me, you asshole! Also, my spell's missing. For that sin, you die! Oh, you can't kill civilians yet. Stop coughing on me! That's it, I eat you. No one cares. <laughs> she coughed on me. Are you kidding me? I can't use that person. Do you have ham? Damn it! You have a pig right there! I know you have ham. Oh, God, we're coughing up blood. <laughs> no, I'm going to cough on you. Don't you kick me away. Yeah, that's right. Stupid guard. Yeah, I coughed on you. Now you're infected. <laughs> Alt does it too. Oh, wow. That's coin, that's very interesting. Spare coins, all I ask. Yeah, you know, I'm already. What could you Blessings do to me? Of the Here you go. Have that, and then um, yep. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Hmm. Move along. <laughs> Wait, was that her that screamed? Did you actually infect them when you cough? Jeez. I 
That's nuts. Also, we found out that you can bite somebody in broad daylight and no one gives a shit at the moment. That shouldn't be and won't be the case for very long, I'm sure of it, but in this current build of the game, yes. Yes, that is it. We've come to a dangerous place. How many times do I have to tell you we've come to a dangerous place? You either win the Game of Thrones or you die. So I'm missing a skill, because I thought that that rain would stay with me forever, but apparently not. Which is kind of sad. Yep, yeah, screw it. The Horn of Brittlebean, go! Okay. way to see if it's supposed to stay with you or not. Oh, to, to get the hot bars to be toggled forever? I don't know. I do not know these things. Okay, I do want to get rid of this uh, cough, so we're gonna go sleep it off. Blood rain. Oh. Well, that's weird, because... So that blood altar... That blood altar is an altar that you can build at your town. But if it only stays with you in the area, what's the point of having it in your town? You see my point? Because the second you leave to go out into the world with this new ability, it vanishes. So that altar only exists in a few places in the game, naturally. Which means you can never quite use Blood Rain everywhere you want to use it. There are sieges. So is it supposed to be just a siege spell? I mean, I would personally love to have that spell all the time. Personally. That's just me. Uh, we need to find a place that we can actually... Yeah, the woods... I know that place for certain has a bed. So, yeah, what you're saying, it sounds like it's just a siege spell, which is disappointing because it would be fun to have all the time. Oh, well. Here I was thinking I tapped into some godly power. <laughs> but really, no, it was borrowed. Darn it. Yay, Shaky Throat is cured. Also, it seems like civilians are the most dangerous thing in the game. I mean, they can give you all kinds of diseases. So, we use this in the shadows. And then, the second we leave the shadows... Yep. Oh, it ejects you! <laughs> That's funny. It ejects you, so you're penalized for doing it. That is cool. Hey, can I feed off a of slime? Mmm. Blood sl <laughs> Gooey slime blood. Yeah. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> we can. Oh, God. Come here. You can't infect me. Ugh. He called me a stupid ballock? How dare you? My army versus yours. Get them, boys! Damn, they're pretty freaking effective. They're pretty freaking effective. He doesn't even know how to fight this. He's like, oh no! Get him! Stab him! Oh my god! How is that not a siege spell? I can't believe you've done this. Ow. <laughs> They're still going at him. Get him! Get him! 
They can die, though. They do some pretty nice damage. Can I kill my own people? I don't think so. No. No. Okay. Yeah, you can't you can't interact with your own, but That's interesting. How do you see your character stats? Um detailed stats right here. So you go you press I and you do detailed stats. It'll also tell you like what you've done. Apparently you can get drunk in the game. Interesting. Chanting isn't currently in the game. Ah, oh, I would have seen that. Necrocrafting currently is in the game. No! <laughs> Weaponsmithing. Blood magic. Where can I see my vampirism? I can't. So they didn't put vampirism in as a passive level. But it does exist in the skill tree. And I don't see a way of raising its level at the moment. I mean, you got level 1 just from feeding on people, but after the fact, it doesn't seem to add to it. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't this uh, skirt red before? It changed to blue. <laughs> what is that about? Yeah, it's showing is red. The magical color changing skirt. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Very interesting. Destroy you with my vampire foul. What the hell? This guy used magic against me. Or something. Oh. I just popped his head off. Ooh. Get him. Get him, you filthy peasants. Cough on him. Hey, you guys do that. I'm going to go uh, dig up this thing. Tons of goblins up there. Tons more to kill. Throw shit at me. They're always throwing some at me. Very rude. Very rude. Let's go, civilians. Let's go. Your dark master commands you. Ah. Civilians! They all just died. They couldn't get up the stairs. Gotcha. 
friends. We're not going to go inside there because it's like a quest area and there'd be no point doing it. <laughs> I'm just here to kill things and get experience. I don't know if we get experience if they kill things. You may not want to keep that skill on there for very long. About to be level 10, the game that firmly belongs to everything hot dog category. Level 10, you're about to be so powerful it's strong. Imagine level 100. I hope there's hundreds of levels in this game, I really do. Because they want you to be able to play the way you want, so there should be like a crazy number of skill points that you can put into the game. Okay, that just goes up to the top. One minutes before your blood starved. No! I don't think we should go into a town and bite people, but <laughs> you seem to get more blood from people in towns. Problem is, if we go into a town and we bite people and they cough on us, we're going to catch our death. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't want to be blood starved. I don't want to encounter that debuff. I guess we observe them. Are you sick? No, he's not sick. See, we went from like one minute to ten minutes. Some of the people in the graves might be sick. I don't know. Graveyard. They're a loan shark. Nice. Ooh, we got a potato. Look at those kids. That's interesting. When you steal from them, they actually reach down to see what happened. Do they ever catch you? <laughs> or, or will they be able to catch you in the future? Something I don't know. <laughs> We're just pickpocketing some or biting others. <laughs> you can join a guild in the game? Um, There's clearly guilds set up, but I don't think you can join any of them at the moment. On this character, I don't think I would join many guilds, though. Unless there was, like, a secret vampire society or something like that. Or a necromancer group. You should be the equivalent of Neo in the Matrix at that level. I would hope so. At level 100. <laughs> Obliterating people. Blessings of the gods. Blessings of the gods. What will happen if we go inside the church? Will it just cure me of vampirism, or can I go in there and, you know, mess with someone? <laughs> wow. What a church. What a, what a priest. I can smell the delicious Wipe the mouth for a man of the cloth. What's got you stressed? Really? I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I could find the guy. Oh yeah, father, I got something to share with you. Oh, I can't bite him. He's too strong. He's too strong. Maybe you catch, like, the plague from the poor people. You stay away from the poor people and you only talk to the rich people. Maybe that's how it works. <laughs> Maybe that's how it works in this. Hmm, 
Undead problem. Cool. Okay. Cool. I like fighting undead. Place ashes in Parford Monastery Crypt. This isn't Parford Monastery, is it? No, this is uh, somewhere else. <sighs> you should drink from them, which stuns them after the bite, then pickpocket. Guaranteed success. Oh. You know, you're right. Because they get stunned when they're bit. So I should do a little bit of both. I don't know where the Parford Monastery is. I have no idea. Is there, like, stuff over here? Because we got the hills. I did see there was, like, a whole sand area. But I don't know if there's any, like, towns or areas that I've missed out on. Yeah, there's, like, this huge, vast sand area. And it keeps going. Right up to the coast. I don't think there's anything out here. I wish you could, like, zoom out. You can zoom in, but you can't really zoom out that far. Or at least what I would consider zooming out far. Here you said bunny hopping in Minecraft is giving me that muscle memory is beginning to pay off. Yes. It really pays off in this game. You hit somebody with a flying jump. <laughs> it hurts. Oh, oh, we've gone past the point of the ocean is missing. Okay, we shouldn't look at that. <laughs> we shouldn't look at that. <laughs> yeah, so we're really far outside the map. Goodness, we're far. How far did we go? Oh, no. Am I ever going to get back? Oh, here we are. Land! Yeah, so this continent is going to get filled out at some point. That'd be kind of cool. <gasps> Snow. Snow zone. There's nothing there, though. That's a shame. I think we've been to every area that is currently available in the game. What is that? Oh, that's the crypt! I'm stupid! Yeah! That's the place. I have all the money now. <laughs> have you been spamming the shift plus N? <laughs> Getting all that coin. All the money. I like that the developer said, yeah, this is a this is a development tool. Um I'm gonna be removing it. Abuse the heck out of it now. <laughs> They're like, we know people are gonna do this. Just just do it. Just just get it get it out of your system. It'll be fine. I've been streaming for six hours. Damn it. Whoa. I can jump really high. Nice. 
You did it for once. You did it once for science. Goblin brain kicked in. I may be in a minority, but the single best skill in the game is wall running. I will die on this hill. <laughs> it is really solid. Outclassed against that goblin. Come here, you. Whoa. I missed. Ow. Can't get me. I'm in the shadows. Why did it go in slow motion? I didn't press C. That's weird. I am the darkness. I don't think they know where I am. They don't know. Ooh! They know! Come here. Nice. Somebody is trying to knock me in the air. It's very rude. <laughs> Who is doing that? <laughs> it is me. It is me. I think it's the damn bird. Call me um, a little bit superstitious, but I think it's the birds casting that. Maybe. It's a magical bird. No! It's that guy! Curse you! Look at him go. It wasn't the bird. It wasn't the bird. Okay, let's do what we came here to do. Going to the crypt. Uh, actually, on the wrong side. <clears throat> oh shit. I can't believe there's still more. Still more. I'm getting really tired. I don't know if it's obvious. <laughs> I am getting a little bit sleepy. But I really want to get that final ability and show it on stream. Maybe quests will expedite us in the right direction. Let's save the game really quick. I notice if you tap jump, you don't jump nearly as high as if you hold when you press jump. 
Like you vault if you hold it. So, do we have to go inside to deliver this? Crunch. Yeah, it says in the crypt. Yeah, we do. Okay. Got it. I understand. Ooh! This <laughs> body. Oh, God. Here, let me help you out, buddy. Now you're no one's problem. We're not going to surge every uh, single coffin, because they all pretty much just have the same shit. There we go. Well, he'll be pleased to know that his father is in a nice resting place. Do you know if translating rune words gives you anything other than just experience? It gives you experience, and it gives you um, experience towards that skill tree, which, again, I'm under the assumption that the skill trees give you uh, points, like, like power towards that skill line. So, Cryo Pyromancy, for instance, the first two you encounter... Uh, having a higher pyro or cryomancy would make those spells stronger, in theory. Because I don't see any other way to improve your spells outside of that. <clears throat> so I think it's worth doing it. I mean, they literally tell you that you can still raise those levels in combat, but if you don't want to do combat to raise them, you can do the rune minigame. Another day. Wow, that was a lot of experience. Nice. I didn't see how much gold he gave us. Oh, we got a recipe. Cool. I, um... He didn't give it to me. <laughs> he didn't give it to me. He didn't give me the recipe. Or maybe it unlocks passively. I don't know. That is way too sensitive. I'm trying to go the other direction, but failed. Wait, I didn't pickpocket you. The hell? No, I did pickpocket you. I'm sorry. I messed up. Oh, well, I'll still bite you. <laughs> I thought I was pressing three. I was pressing E. There are far too many beggars plaguing the streets. <laughs> I have a bounty now. Let's see them cast catch cat I can't talk. Let's see them capture Shadow. Yeah. It ain't gonna happen. Come on. Come on. Gods will never know. 
<laughs> it won't let you leave that way. <laughs> I think that is what proficiency points are for, which are, which are four, which are not implemented. Maybe? Uh, they have levels and they have proficiency, and I just don't know the difference. Go back to Three Sisters. That had a lot of goblins and shit like that. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy. But this game is a lot of fun. Even with some flaws, it's, it's fun. It's just fun. Try killing that ghost again as this character. We didn't do it with this character. Ah! Oh yeah, this is a necromancy altar. Undead thrall, suicide skeleton, undead thrall. Okay. Um. How do I use them? Oh. Interesting. Um. Okay. I, I don't know how to use them. Oh, that won't go away now. <laughs> How do I get rid of it? <laughs> it's gone now. Just want to make sure it saved my skeletons. Yeah, we have them. I don't know how to use them. Check your two-handed weapon skills. You should have some proficiency points, which you get when you level that skill. They're supposed to be spent on your abilities. Caps lock. Yeah, I I thought I was going to put it on the caps lock bar, and it didn't work. And then it wouldn't go away. Zero proficiency. Zero skill. So skill points go into creating, like, unlocking a skill. Proficiency points are the proficiency we're talking about. Which, again, it'll tell you, like, level. And I don't understand that. Level 1, proficiency points. Maybe proficiency is, like, for an independent ability. But then what does the level mean? Like, you could get, you know, X number of proficiency and keep tapping on the ability, making it stronger, but... I assume that's what level was. Or is he going to, like, lock off this stuff into levels? Which I guess would make sense. You'd have to use more of it to make it stronger. Be kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it would make a lot of sense. Level is how many proficiency points you get. One per level. Okay. So, hypothetically, you start, you know, reading the pyromancy book like crazy. You get proficiency three, early game. You now have the ability to gain three of, of these proficiency points, which I'm assuming make your abilities stronger, period, within that tree. Upgrade the ability you already have. Okay, yeah, so it is an upgrade. So it is an upgrade. That you can spend on a single ability. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Alright. Big sense. <laughs> what? I knew it was power 
powerful, but it just did over 1,200 damage with a single hit. <laughs> Jeez. It's only supposed to do 150 damage, but it takes into account the gravity. <laughs> well, yeah, blood, blood knight, blood magic just... Are, sorry, that wasn't blood magic. That was necromancy. They're both really powerful. They're both insanely powerful. Oh, there's no fairy over here this time. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's um, that's nuts. That is nuts. Ah, I know you did. Losing my mind. You have weird this game related dreams when I go to sleep. I gotta, I gotta find out what what other stuffs around the corner. I gotta, I gotta go here. I gotta go there. My blood starved. <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> I don't think there was any goblins up this way. I know they're all back that way, but there's still a lot of goblins here. Shadows with you. Statue. The hell? Oh! Oh, I... You know, I didn't hear that the first time I did that. Yeah, it's the it's the light. It starts burning the shadow. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I was like, what is that sound? <laughs> Duh. And that's where the vampire weakness to light is. Truly... Truly evident. Can I see what's in here? There is nothing in here. It'd be fine if you just looked inside of some little guy looking back at you. He's just like, hello. <laughs> hello, this is my place now. Hello. Who the hell are you? This character's mobility, their ability to jump, fall, stuff like that, is so much stronger than my druid, but mostly because my druid has had the easy life transforming. I'm really going to have to take some time with her and not, like, spend too much time in the sky for once just to get her on par. Because this character doesn't have that capability. I can't just, you know, snap my fingers together and avoid, you know, plummeting from the highest height imaginable. So I've had to compensate. Nice blue item. Cool. Short bow. I've had to compensate by jumping high, running up walls, stuff like that. Jumping puzzle. Now we're just going to make our jump experience all that more crazy I may have missed some we're not here to get them all we're just here to get a lot of them ah! we were fine we caught ourselves we're good shadows with you. See, they don't know. <laughs> That's so cool. It makes me feel like a real badass. I just erupt out of the darkness. I start causing them to bleed everywhere. Ah, oh, I was gonna burst that body. It's fine, he's dead. Stay there? Nope. He did. Drop something? Yep. I will take that. I want the 
these. Be nice if there was like a shortcut to grab everything. I'm lazy. We have another necromantic altar up here. That's right, there's like one goblin just admiring the bones. No, no, no. Damn it. I want to consume you with the bats. There we go. Wow, you survived. <laughs> survived again, but not this time. No, no, no. You die. Now just blow you up because I can't. Didn't have a really good reason to do that. I just did it because I could. Ow! Someone bit me! Speaking of which, I can drink from this goblin. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Blood spear! Ugh. Oh, I missed. I want this experience. Frames be damned. Shit. Can't target me. I'm underground in the darkness. It's archers. They irritate me. Ooh, come here. That was a fairy. That means there is actually a fairy home somewhere. We're always in a tree. Oh, hello. God, the frames are getting nuts. I can't see what I'm doing. I thought the fairy house would be nearby. Could be obscured by something. Yeah, doesn't matter. I'd much rather get the jumping experience. Those archers are just evil. I'm gonna get you. Okay, it's, getting, it's getting quiet. I can't even see what's happening. Go to a new area. get a lot of experience in this one area, which was nice. Save the game. <laughs> I see that arrow. <laughs> he was trying. They keep respawning. I don't know what it is about there. They don't stop. They just keep spawning in to attack me. I want to go to the uh, fall areas. Those areas are beautiful. Maybe we can fight the vampire as a vampire. I mean, he was like an unknown level at first. Well, some of them were unknown levels and others were like only like level 12 and shit, but... 
We can go to Wolf Den for a bit, then go wake up the vampire, and we'll see if there's like a, I don't know, some sort of interesting interaction, or like, do they not attack you if you're already a vampire? Or if even if they just appear as a really high-level mob, I mean, you get some experience out of that. Pretty cool. He's dead. There's no way. He went flop. He lived! I can't believe it. I cannot believe he survived. I know there's undead in here. I just don't remember what level they were. I gotta start paying attention to level ranges. These are level threes. And that's it that's in here. There's nothing else. I'd love to see the uh, bat cloud slam from Dracula Untold. Your character just like rams their fist into the ground and bats just pummel enemies in front of you. Oh, okay. We killed him so hard he was still in his animation. Press M, hover your hotbar, and press another key. What? What did that do? It did nothing. What does that do? Don't press 2, press key. Oh. Nothing's happening. It just creates, uh... I, I don't know. Okay. Oh, I see. It, it changes the um, shortcut. Oh, that's weird. Is that what you do with the caps lock stuff? You change it to a different key? So, for instance, no, can't do that. Okay, so it rebinds, but it, I, I was assuming it would, like, do something with the other hotkeys. Well, that's still very useful. I know some people wanted to rebind stuff. I saw a few requests for that, but you can do it. You can, in fact, do it. Silver, iron. <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting this character's mining skill is terrible. We're not really here for the mine. Ah! God damn it! <laughs> We're not really here for the biting skill. We're here to get experience in general. Okay, he's toast. Ah, oh, there's tons of bandits in there, so we should go after them. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Ah! Oh no! Is there a way out? Is there a way out? Ah! Uh, nope. Hmm. I think I have to wait for that to uh, un undo itself. I, 
can kill him from here. Can't crawl out. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. We may have found the way out. Maybe. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I have to wait for the ability. Otherwise, I don't think we can salvage it. <laughs> Can't do this to me. Let me out, freedom! Freedom! <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, what was that? Hang on, we were up for a moment. We were up. God, I don't know how long this lasts. Okay, position yourself there. Yep. Go here. Yep. Here. Oh. Okay, that is, um... Hmm. I guess this platform doesn't count as ground. Good to know. Let's go in this little side room first. Hello, sir. See, I started wearing pants. He didn't. That's why he died. No pants equals dead. Oh. I didn't make it. I thought I made it. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, it's violent. <laughs> yeah, sure shit, it was violent. <laughs> okay, I want this. The hell? The hell's going on over there? I'm not even over there. The guy just killed himself somehow. The hell are you doing? Get over here. <laughs> He's doing gymnastics. That's the guy that was taking a pot shot ass over there. I ignored him to go into this room and he was trying to get up and I guess he started climbing the wall or something. What the heck? Common sense, bandit. Common sense. So many other ways to get your goal. And I think that was the last of them. You never nope. Come here. <laughs> nah, I think you shouldn't have come here. Why did I do that? I don't want to get sucked in the floorboards again. Oh, I missed. Not that time I didn't. Wow, there's so many of you. Gotcha. You're you're dead. You're not getting up from that. You were. You are 100% dead. Okay. Let's go. Oh, my character's having a heart attack. It's fine. We're halfway to 10. I just want to see the final ability. Sound. I don't know what that was. Oh, hello, sir. My bats ate you. It's fine. They're very hungry. The frames. The frames are claiming it. Let's save because if something unfortunate happens and we crash. We know that place has a ton of goblins and trolls and pigs too, so we can go there, farm them again. Quests are kind of hit or miss when it comes to experience. We don't know how much, like, each individual quest is going to give us in terms of experience. And that's why I'm not like... Okay, that's new. 
So I'm not hard focusing quests. Well, that just killed both pig and rider. dead, but just in case. <laughs> now he's very dead. <laughs> he's very dead. That explains where all the pigs are coming from. <laughs> Goodbye. Ow! Leave me alone. There's no goblin house this time. There's one over there. I guess they randomly spawn. Ooh, a bear! So much damage to him. And we killed him. Can I do damage? Do this with the bat swarm. Oh yeah, we can. Gotcha. I want this. It's mine. Ow! Please stop hitting me, the frames are so distracting. We did it. They're all slain. Now, if blood causes this kinds of problems with frame rates, what does fire magic do? What does the uh, pyromancy do? <laughs> That's what I want to know. What does the pyromancy do for everything? Is it just as bad? Probably. I do want to refight that vampire and see uh, if he can give us some extra experience. I'm not going to let him bite us again. There'd be no point. You just give us the shaky cough. No event at the... <laughs> the hell? The hell? This guy just screamed bloody murder. Ah! Ah! Let go! I was climbing them. He's running away. Goodbye, sir. He's being cheeky. <laughs> you didn't even go anywhere. I just hit his feet, that's all. Screaming because his toes got squashed. That's about it. I 
dare you. Where is this man? Oh! Ow! <laughs> we broke his face. You're still alive. I thought you were all dead. I was wrong. Okay. Well, we can fast travel in the darkness, which is nice. I imagine this is going to be an insanely good scouting ability in some of the larger dungeons that they're going to add to the game. Granted, those dungeons are underground. In the dark. Well, that's a long time. So for those of you just skipping ahead to watch this part of the uh, stream later on, or now, <laughs> I don't know if you're here now and you weren't here before, this is where you unlock the vampire skill. Or at least, at the moment, this is where you unlock it. There might be other vampires in the game, there might be other places later on. There's a skunk outside my window. That's strong. My god, is that strong. Whoa, he's literally right outside the window. Okay, so he's not awake yet because it's not fully night. Oh, that is stinky. Stinky. Stinky skunk. That is profound. Whoa. I have nothing wrong with skunks. There's nothing wrong with skunks. I love skunks. They're cute. But he is a stinky one. He's level 15, so he's a lot stronger than us. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We can kill him. We're the vampire now. <laughs> he just tried to turn invisible. We just murdered him. But yeah, so in order to become a vampire, you have to lose that fight on purpose. You have to allow him to wail on you as we discovered. So special props to the viewers tonight for helping me solve that. You can see that happen if you you know, playing if you're watching this video later on, uh, you can see that go down, the thinking process. And the Discord, the official Discord for this game. Uh, does in fact have people that are willing to help out, and that's that's pretty cool. Everyone wants to discover. Quite honestly, I didn't even believe it was it was gonna happen. I thought it was people's hopes. I was like, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, but and it's like, nah, you can become a vampire. It's totally gonna happen. Oh, we can get experience by going up there. That's right. I should go up there. I don't have the ability to turn into a raven though and go up there, so we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Um, I love that. You know, the vampirism part of this game is something you can obtain this early. Because I know a lot of people want to play as monsters in RPGs. They want to be something other than a normal character, and you can if you wish. Oh, vampires! Okay, I'm trying to climb. So we can use the bat form to occasionally boost our way up, but easy to miss. Here we are. Ah, yes. Here we go. We can 
and zoom in. That's cool. We did it. Actually, I don't know how much experience we actually got from that. Probably not a lot. Okay, I know that there are more trolls and things. Ah, yes. There's some trolls and goblins. Let's save. I'm really trying to stay on till I get my last ability for this that I want. I mean, I'll eventually get the night vision on my own Steam, but, like, for the stream, I want to showcase the really cool travel ability that players have. I technically, have two travel abilities. I wonder what the real difference is between the Meld of the Darkness and the, um, the Darkness, like, ability that you turn into shadows. They're both, they're both shadow abilities. Well, he's hella dead. Eat him. <laughs> Not having a good time. Poor stupid goblins. Oh, there are more. Were more correction. Also, we haven't seen the ghost that we saw as a druid that just randomly appears. I wonder why that that was. Did we pick up a quest somewhere? I haven't heard a single creepy. Maybe it only happens at midnight. I don't know. Because you'll hear, like, whispering and murmuring, and then there'll be, like, a spectral apparition that appears before you. And if you run up to it, it will give you a sword. Which is really cool. Pumpkin. It might have been a very freakish thing that I encountered. Like, probably only happens on a certain time, a certain day. I don't know. There should be more trolls around here. There should be. But I don't see any. Interesting. Spooky. Spooky. Very spooky. Wait, what the hell's that? Oh, I thought those were eyes. I looked at it from that angle and I was like, what the hell is that? No, it's the altar. It's the altar. There's nothing here. Yet. Who knows? Maybe there will be. Someday. <sighs> Travel into the darkness. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. <laughs> I wonder, can you pair that with a melee attack? Because that'd be incredibly powerful. Instead of just pressing E, I exit the shadow form using an ability. That's something I'll have to try out at some point. Okay. Gonna save the game. We're going to go somewhere else because we have exhausted this area.
I could always go back to it, but I like to kind of change it up here and there. But that is easily one of my favorite zones in the game. I like the fall. These two areas here are awesome. I would go to the Necropolis, but I already know that the enemies are not very strong there. Like, they are very um, low level. So they don't give us much. I mean, there's a lot of them. I'm still not sure, like, how much we actually get from that. To be honest, so I'd rather just stay in an area I know. I'll go to the flatlands. Which is technically the woods, but flatlands woods. The game doesn't know which it's supposed to be. Here we go. Because one quest will call it the woods, another calls it the flatlands. <laughs> I mean, there are woods, and there are flatlands. <laughs> Okay, that thing isn't real. There's a deer. There's a bunny. What's actually happening? Ah, it's the final day of the month in the game. Nice. Uh oh. What have I done? What have I done? Okay. <laughs> oh no! Just disabled my controls. Okay, hang on. There we go. There we go. That was weird. That's an interesting bug. I clicked the wrong thing at the right time and it ended up just destroying my ability to click on anything. It does happen. the javelin. Nice. Can they just jump off the structure? You know, I didn't know I could actually shield bash this entire time. <laughs> oh, he lost his head. Oh no. Really? You think you can... Think you can face me? Goodbye. <laughs> I wonder if that necklace is on the skeleton, even when we don't have the quest. Because on our other character, we had to go here to get the necklace. It isn't. Somebody puts it there. Okay, interesting. Sometimes there's a bear in here, other times there's goblins. No more, I say.
ันนี้ wonder how far we can make it in our shadow form between the tree lines Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, not very far. <laughs> the answer is not far at all. No, no, no. Dwarven Fortress. I don't know what purpose it actually served, but all I know is the dwarves are gone now. It's a funny thing. There's a lot of dwarven runes in this game, but the dwarves aren't dead in this game. There's just a lot of dead dwarves. Not today. Again, this game would be awesome in VR. <laughs> oh, my God. That's weird that it shows that still. If this place has some sort of secret interior, I don't think I've ever seen it. Like, you go in here. It's like this pipe. And yeah, you've got a forge. And that's it. There might be a quest that currently connects to this place, considering how many goblins there are, but I don't know. Just hit a switch, but it did nothing. They keep respawning. I think that's good for us. to another area. We're just killing things as we go through. Just to expedite our experience gain. I don't know the best ways of getting experience in this game yet. As I mentioned before, the quests are kind of here and there at times. I mean, we could go to the Necropolis really briefly, but there's just... I don't know. Like, I don't think that they give experience. Do anything that raises a skill. Like, actually, like, grabbing trees and shit, does that actually give us normal experience? Like, mining and such? Because I thought it just gave experience towards that. Foraging, running, harvesting. Oh, it does. Huh. I did not know. Now 
don't think you can harvest wheat from this field. Okay, well, I will kill a few bandits and then I'll head out and see about that, getting a bunch of stuff. Unfortunately, I haven't spent much time foraging and harvesting and doing any of that stuff on this character, so... Kind of in an unfortunate spot. Ow. Check your achievements. Alright. Um, achievements. Oh. Well, not a lot of experience, but guaranteed. Yeah, so you can get, like... Okay, you can gobs of experience one time each time. So we could get 35, 50, 75. But the question is, is it giving us experience before that? Like, that's really where it would come down to it. Because if it's only giving us experience after we do an achievement, it's not worth that. I could be killing more enemies in that same amount of time. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. <laughs> I just ragdolled and did that. <laughs> oh, I can't swing. There we go. He's dead. I know, right? <laughs> oh, I can't believe he's dead. I couldn't either. Oh, what a way to die. Thrown off, devoured by bats, and then you die next to a farm. Painfully skewered against a fence. The hell? Hostage? It's a hostage. There was a hostage. He's dead now. Okay, let's go, um, let's go harvest. Pick whatever you have the least experience in. we just go get three more trees. Oh yeah, I've got a lot of, like, tree stuff. Where did, where were we getting tons of pine trees from now? Oh god, I can't, it was a field. It was a field, there was a river. I think it was... Yes. It was this place. There was tons of pine trees. Tons and tons of pine trees. Like, everywhere I turned, there were pine trees. Alright. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. And I can kill goblins along the way, too. It's not like a big letdown or anything. Fortunately, we can't fast travel to all of them. We're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. I already see some of the pine trees. So we'll start this little tiny one here. trees in the world map too. Does that actually raise the skill though? I didn't actually notice. I, I, I am aware of the um, world map trees. I just didn't know about the experience gain. Just got 30 trees. I assume it would. I've not tested it. Yeah, I don't know if that, like, it actually translates to your in-game stuff. I thought it was just a quick way of getting, like, the desired materials without risking combat. I mean, that's what the, like, rune reading is. And that has its own, like, level-up system specifically for the spells, so... I don't know if it's kind of the same thing. Suck. 
<laughs> you missed everything. Well, wood cutting has increased. It's a positive sign. Yeah, it seems like we can only hit, like, humanoid targets more often than not with that. I have killed other things with the bat dash, but not everything. developer ever watches this, I want a bat smash ability. Just like slam the ground with a fist shaped bat cloud. I would like an ability that causes a burst of darkness from your character. Like you jump up very like a slight height and slam down on the ground just erupting darkness around you. That'd be kind of cool. Like pushes enemies back and shit. Maybe some sort of ability that, like... Oh. Interesting. That tree stayed. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, that'd be cool. Like, some more physical vampire prowess abilities would be neat. We've already got a dash. We've got a shadow meld. Climbing the slime! It's kind of funny that you can climb creatures. I'm curious to see the difference between this ability and the one we're trying to unlock. I'm hoping the one we try to unlock is kind of like the birds, where you can collide with things physically. Because we can do that. We can do some crazy combos. Like, slam into them with that, and then turn into the bat swarm. Which way or whichever. Be kind of a cool wombo combo. getting a lot of experience, so it's definitely going to pay off. More. I need more. Give me more trees. More trees, please. experience. Good 
Jump across the river. <laughs> Evil spirits can cross the river. Oh no. Also, you know, I never checked this uh, rock here and see if there was like a cave entrance or something. There probably is. Maybe. Possibly. I don't think the Thunderstaff skill works. No! I saw that and I was like, that kind of looks interesting. I never bothered to test it, but... Darn. Yeah, I saw a skill I wasn't... I mean, uh, not a skill, but I saw a weapon ability I wasn't sure about. The fairy staff. Like, glows. It does, like, a glowy thing when you do a charge attack. And that's it. I have no idea what it means, what it does. But the Thunder Staff ability, that's like an ability you're learning. So that's kind of devastating that it doesn't work. That's completely different. I cast it, my character does an animation, but nothing happens. Hmm. Do you have to be outdoors? I don't... I thought it was supposed to imbue your staff with power. Because it, it says, um... <clears throat> what am I doing? There we go. Charge your staff with electrical magic, then blast it out in the form of a bolt. It's supposed to fire a bolt after you charge, so it does the animation. The fact that it doesn't is really just upsetting. Well, as long as the other abilities work, it'd be worth it. That's if it does. I'm going to save, because losing this progress would suck. Just screaming. I'd love there to be a system where you can, like, transmog equipment later on. Where you can take on the appearance of whatever equipment you've already learned the appearance of. Because being able to dress the way you want kind of goes into the whole play the way you want system. It's a random thought, but I'm thinking to myself, like, I love the bear head for my druid. I mean, that's how my druid looked in my RP. You know, she always had a bear helmet. And 
if there was a better helmet for my character's class, even though it's a single player game, I'd still want to kind of embody that character, the spirit of that character. And if that better helmet wasn't a bear helmet, I think I'd feel a little bit upset. But at the moment, it appears like armor is only for armor. Like, it doesn't really offer anything else. At all. It's where, like, weapons, too. Like, weapons are pretty bare bones. Should get the expression. They're pretty bare bones. They just have damage values and speed values. So maybe the true... Maybe, like, gear is not going to be that important, ultimately. It's armor and damage. It's really the skills that make your character. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Because then I can dress my character however I want. I normally don't go, like, Fashion Souls kind of mindset, but in this game, the more I think about it, I do like fully embodying the character I want to embody. Whichever one I'm playing. I'm gonna run out of trees pretty soon. Almost level 10. Just a couple more trees. Lost spirit. Yeah, I don't have a necromantic curse spell. So I can't, like, do anything with them. I need an actual necromancy tree spell, and I don't have any. I just have the uh, necromancy, like, tombstone and shit like that. Woo. We're looking for trees we can cut down. Can't cut that one down. If we have the skill to cut down birch trees, though, if we find the birch trees over here by the big blessing tree, we can do that. Ah, there's a uh, pine. I'm definitely getting some sort of memory leak. We haven't used too many particles, but it's it's happening still. I may have to, like, verify the integrity of my files, because I'm not sure if there's something that's just cheesy about my installation. I don't know. Good to know. At least we can get birch trees. I think shortly after we unlock the ability, the new ability, and see what it can do, I am going to be popping off because I am getting very, very sleepy. Oh, we did it! Yes! Okay. Vampirism. Mist of the night. And all I have is the night vision, which I can get on my own time. <laughs> or, you know, the next stream really determines. I've been playing this game offline, and this was my uh, offline character. So what am I doing? Skill book. This is the character I've been playing, you know, in my own Steam. 
Okay, so. Actually, kind of want to replace that there. Yep, this is the ability I saw. So, it's a flying ability. And I want to know how different that is. Because they're both used for travel in, in a way. But... What I really need to know is if I utilize that Mist of Night, can I hurt people with it? Because you can't hurt people with the Shadow Melt. You're invisible. They can't hurt you. But can I hurt people with the mist. You were coughed on? Oh no. You got coughed on. No. Another falls victim to the cough. I'm sorry. I've been there. Oh. Let's go. Uh. Aw, oh, you can't hurt them with it. Well, damn it. So it's just a flying ability, then. Well, the best vampire ability, hands down, I want to say, is the, their combat ability. I mean, I'm not disappointed because I needed an ability like this. I need to be able to get away from things. This isn't to say that there's like some sort of other like enhancement that can happen. I, mean, I guess it makes sense that the shadow form wouldn't be able to damage enemy. It's a shadow after all. It makes more sense, but it would have been funny. Because that's how I play with my druid anyways, so. It has a very low cooldown, though, in terms of, like, abilities. And I can use it in tandem. Like, I can enter the darkness here. Can I cast it while I'm inside this? Oh, well, that was interesting. <laughs> okay, so we're in the ground. You can't cast it while you're in the ground, but you can do this really fast. And they both move really quick. Uh, the Shadow Meld is a lot quicker, though. He's alive. He's dead now. <laughs> nice. Okay, well my game is slowly falling apart. <laughs> so we're gonna save the game. Um, yeah, we unlocked Vampire. That was really cool. And I'm going to quit because I'm gonna be hopping off here. That was fun though. Yeah. Thank you, gamer. Thank you, everyone who watched. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry, I'm so sleepy. <laughs> oh, another eight hours stream. I didn't mean to do that. No. <laughs> um, This was The Bloodline. You can check this game out on Steam if you don't have it already. We discovered some pretty cool stuff. I think I'm going to rename this uh, stream to unlocking the vampire because that's exactly what we did i said doing druid stuff but then we ended up <laughs> sidetracking when we found something unexpected which was actually super rewarding that was super rewarding to stumble across that in the first place not knowing it was currently because i went in full expecting both werewolf and vampire were not obtainable at the moment but one of them was and that isn't to say the werewolf isn't like, 
I don't know if Corruption Tree is the werewolf tree or not. I have no idea. It's that thaumaturgy, so can't can't be that. Um, so who knows? <laughs> have a good night. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Thank you uh, for everything. And I'm going to do more streams of this. I may take a break tomorrow. I don't know. Or I'll do something more seasonal. Uh, as this month goes on, uh, we're going to get to, like, actual Halloween content. So, um, but this is a great game to start, you know, the month with. <laughs> And I love it, and I can't wait to see more and more of this game get developed, and I'm going to definitely follow um, what's going on with the Discord, what's happening on the, the Steam forums, and I'm eager to try out the new builds as they're available. I'll see you all later. Have a wonderful night. Stay spooky. Woo!